We did it. We're live. It's Broccoli Boys oh, We're playing a game I never even, I never even played before. Um, yeah, out of town. Oh, can you try this out? Apparently, I have this set up to be interactive, but I don't know how it works. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you need to go to like their website or some shit. Like I don't know, go look up Disco Elysium, like the web, like if there's a website, because maybe we could drop that link in. I don't know in. if it shows up in Twitch. No, I think it, like. All right, is there a way that <laughs> we'll try to figure this out now? Um, maybe it's it's like interactive. Look up something about it being interactive. All I got is a code word, and I put in the code word. So if you figure out where that is and hit put in Brock, uh, you could. Uh, you can influence decisions, and I think check my my stats. I don't know what it means exactly, though. I'm gonna look it up. We got a bit of time. Let some people come on in. All right. There's so, a Twitch extension named Disco Elysium Companion. Ooh, that might be it. You need to add the extension to your channel. Uh, hold on. I'll be back. I have to add the extent. I have to put the work in. How dare they? All right. I'm putting in the work in now. I'm going to do it. All right. So. <laughs> fuck. I don't even know how to do this. Extensions. Disco. Disco Elysium. I should just have to put in Disco, right? There can't be that many. Companion, install. Installed successfully. Can I get rid of it? Use the, see the secret key. Add it to the Twitch integration section in the in-game menu. All right. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to have to hide myself. I'm going to go into secret mode. I don't know if I have to do this, but I'm going into secret mode anyway. I don't want you to see my my settings uh, are we good okay now what <laughs> did I win <laughs> before you go live oh before you go live right? whoopsie daisy we're gonna have to end quick and we start Man, this is not worth it. <laughs> uh, so you can say. <laughs> so that people can say, you should say this word. Yeah. This is totally not worth it. All right, channel. This is... Aha! Okay, cool. All right, All right it worked. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye back to game all right so let's go to the new game i don't know anything about this game i know that it's considered really great to the people that play it even my co-worker was saying it's amazing and he's not like a big huge gamer so i trust his opinion because he's that he's just going uh it's an awful game and no one likes you because you play it all right perfect that's the position i like to be in i like to build myself up no bitch moves yeah, thanks for reassuring what I already knew. Yeah, I power through. I'm the underdog. All you're doing is making my arc stronger, Dorgo. <laughs> They'll root for me when you do that. All right. Thinker. Extremely intelligent. Or right, move on. Sensitive. Next. Very psychological. A, a magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. Physical. Extremely physical. Interact with the world through his body. Gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Or do you want to make your own guy from the get-go? I don't think I'm qualified. <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified. Definitely enough. not a thinker. You're definitely yeah. not a thinker then. <laughs> Maybe this one. I'm all personality, baby. No thinking. <laughs> not strong. <laughs> Is Which one of these It just says dick jokes? This one? We'll go with sensitive. The worst part of this game is... The worst part of this game is what? 
Don't leave me hanging. I'm sensitive. All right. Bam. Continue. So I, I know nothing of this. This is also the new one that came out. Oh, the re-release? Yeah, so it's going to actually talk and I don't have to read. Oh, dude, that's genius. Oh, let me set it up so that the audio... No spoilers for Godzilla. I haven't seen it yet. Dude, I'm it sure doesn't I matter. Mean... <laughs> There's nothing that matters less than Godzilla spoilers. I do have... There is... I will say there is a definitive winner. Which Better I... be... Better be Big Blizzard. I ain't saying what. Big Blizzard, dude. I ain't saying who. Big old cold blizzard. But I... But... Spoiler alert. Big monkey do big Stop, punch. Stop, dude. How big punch? Pretty it's a big? big? Yeah, it's a pretty big punch. Oh, my God. It's so cool. There's so many big punches. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Wait, is this the voice I gotta deal with the whole time? <laughs> no, that's the classic ancient <laughs> Arturian brain. <laughs> Back in black, I hate this egg. I hate his voice. Ever. Not this guy, he's fine, but... Never, ever. Alright, so... Apparently, if you guys want to try... You might be able to influence. I think I set up that you can influence. So if I hit, maybe if I hit one of these. Oh, there's a percentage. So maybe if you vote. I mean, this is the most non, non question. A hundred percent. Okay. So I'm gonna probably use your guys's suggestions because I got no, I got no dog in this fight. And then what's this one? I don't know what the fuck that oh, means. Oh, it's... we can vote for your stats. I want you to be dumb. No, uh, stop doing it. Don't make me dumber. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Uh, I kind of want to just keep doing that. Can I just keep on not existing forever? That sounds all right. Sounds comforting, like a warm blanket. It's a hermit. Do I have to hit that every hiding. time? You uh, should I'll probably hit that on bigger ones than just every <laughs> time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> okay, I will. I don't care what you guys think about most of it. Yes, it is. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic source, it's bloated and shameful. The wall of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. This voice comes in too often. Uh, I want to know about the. I'm going to try to move it on because I could sit in the darkness forever. I like creeping in the abyss. Ex love, ex tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay, sail with me through the abyss of pelagic zone. I want to get off the abyss of pelagic zone. I like the pain and burning light and wanting things for people who don't want to give them to me. There's a scene that I'm pretty certain you're going to miss, and I'll tell you what you could never... All right. Cool. Thank you. I want to get off now. Do you really? I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Hoard so much on yourself, got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? That's supposed to be, be a rhythm game. It's <laughs> the disco. Fear 
I thought it was getting boogie. Attention. You yeah. should ask what's out there first. Uh, fear apprehension. Um. Wait, this so this game's like. For me. I don't care. Um, I'm an idiot. A brave idiot. I'm a pretty brave idiot. This game's neat, right? Because doesn't it have like lots and lots of good dialogue? I think. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All I heard was the writing in this game's good. Well, nothing's happened yet. But I also think you surpass even that of the boss is a great line. So this is good, isn't it? Yes, it's really good. You one disco mother. Can I just be an idiot? There's this giant ball there. You chose social. You should have made your own disco, where you just go ooga booga. And the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. That's us. How big is this ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. Is it hollow? I hear it's hollow. Spoiler alert. How small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. Fine for resources. It's just a stupid <laughs> expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the <laughs> other evil apes in the face. Oh, you Seems cool. Lose. Alex, can I give you a small spoiler for Godzilla vs. King Kong? What, are you going to tell me, like, Mechagodzilla's in or some shit? No. Even better. <laughs> Does uh, Kong do sign language? <laughs> the core of the Earth may be filled with King Kongs. <laughs> there you go. You gotta go see it. It's stupid. <laughs> you gotta go see That's it That's awesome. I gotta go see it. <laughs> core of the Earth is filled with King Kong? Uh... Potentially, yes. And King Kong might be king of the core of the earth. There. That's your last spoiler. That's amazing. Because <laughs> he's just That's Kong. Why... He's just Kong, right? But in the, yeah, he's in just the, normal Kong. In the core of the earth, he's, he's King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I got to go see it. It's, ama then. it's amazing. Mind for resources. I'm sorry, I didn't even. I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about how Kongs are supposed to store in the balls. Dude, that's so good. <laughs> Just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. Part of the presentation. What do they them. do there? You have to find out. There. It's gonna be a post-credit scene, but they removed it because Japan wants to do some Kong or Zilla movies. The movie rights were. Yeah, ascended. this was supposed to come out last year. Oh wait, there was but... supposed to be a bunch like. This is, oh, is going to open up the Kongverse? They do eight. <laughs> what was that? What was the post? I guess you can't say what the post credit would be because it would spoil it, but. <laughs> Dude, it's so fucking stupid. It's amazing. 10 out of 10. They know, right? So yeah, it's even they, better. Have, they have to. It's, um, it's definitely a sequel to, like, the dumb. Godzilla movies. Like, they went all in. Buying for resources. All right. It sounds like Did something you, I would that like That sounds to great. Do. That sounds like it. what I wanted from the American Somewhere ones. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. I want to fight for resources, baby. Let's punch. You got a stick? Stick look good. Tomorrow. What if it was my stick? Okay. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Is this, <laughs> is this what we get from the, uh, the new version? I have I couldn't just read this. I have a I have a cigarette smoking voice. <laughs> read it for me. 
I mean, I'll, I'm good with it. You're a champion. I am not scared. I am a champion. Mother, help me. There is a headache to my neck, and I'm in it. Ah, dude, let me just the see the game. <laughs> I just want to get to the game. These voices existed in the launch version. In fact, the whole game was voiced. The added speaking parts are for the translated versions. Oh! Uh, help me someone, cut off my head, it's trying to murder the rest of me, who am I? What sort of creature does this to its own- <laughs> oh, that's me! <laughs> A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound, from hell. Drunk, open your eyes. <sighs> blame. Blame, blame. That's me! Is this what representation feels like? That's a good establishing shot of your character. <laughs> He's even got the skinny legs, square body. <laughs> He's Dude. 100% me. I need these. Alright. Well, this is my house. I hope you like it. Here's the tour. Here's the main bedroom. This is where the magic happens. Over here's my turntable. Uh, here's my, what the fuck is this? Looks like someone tore out the tapes while the song was playing. This is my anger issues, as you can see, sprawled on the, flo on the floor. Hold tab to highlight. Okay, cool. How do I put my pants on? This magnum sized bottle. Of Commodore Red is empty. My magnum sized bottle for my magnum sized crippling addiction. Maybe. It's a perfect representation of your average gamer. Absolutely. How wait, how far how far does his head go? Does he have the gamer neck? He totally does. Look at that. Uh, you Look at that perfect the curve. Strong neck. Yeah, that perfect curve. Let me see how my tub is doing. You see bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweat liqueurs. Or sweet liqueur. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't pick the intellect. It says I can interact with that. Is it a liar? Oh, there's my shirt. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Oh, is that like why down here I look like shit? A monkey. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there underneath the soft vapor. Uh, wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. I must see my, f my face. I don't care. Behold. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> you have he no looks idea so slimy. who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What is this? Of course I do. It's um, some kind of superstar. I think I'm a superstar. Oh, which one? Two or three? <laughs> no, no one. I'm proud of this mug. You better pick one or I'll never move on. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. 
Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Um, I have no idea why it's there. It just is. I'm not making it. The face is making it itself. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. I don't listen to authority, especially when it, the, the authority is my mirror. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. The rumors were true. What does it even mean? If you mean? keep making the dumb face, it what stays. What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Uh, superstardom. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. All right. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I don't know. Um, what do you see when you look into this face, Alex? What are the options? I can't read it. It's too... The Discord's fucking it up. You oh. look pretty happy. You look pretty suave. All right. It's like a slimy, gross bar guy trying to hit on somebody. You're gross. So you'd say superstardom. Superstar, absolutely. <laughs> Can I jump up super high? You should check yourself. Don't pick that one anymore. Superstar. You ruined it. <laughs> From here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. Uh, I'll check for pause. I'll listen to my mirror now. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. However... Putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive for now. He would definitely sell me a car. Your portrait. Like he would try to pretend he's giving me a good bargain with that smile. I'm assuming I'll just fail these. Should I just attempt to? I mean, there's, do, do I lose anything if I fail? Now we gotta think like a superstar. So don't even think about it. Don't even think about why I'm so handsome. Just move have a on. Maid. <laughs> have someone else take care of all the hard decisions. You don't get to reattempt it. Okay, so this is something. Now that uh, this is something you can come back to and discover yourself. Because right now there's big like man no disco. chance. What would big man disco do? He would just fucking be happy with what he just saw and move on. Dude, what a fucking dude. <laughs> He'd take another swig. He'd get more drunk. Keep him grounded. It's like a superstar would. This isn't even a role-playing game. This is just... <laughs> I'm not just me. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm not pretending to be anybody else. Real real tape player still on, rolling empty. Oh, it's not a turntable? I don't know what anything is anymore. My window's broken. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus. <laughs> All right. Assess the situation. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. I probably threw alcohol out of there. I probably just whipped fucking beer. This is absolutely you. Yeah. <laughs> Not a big this mystery. is absolutely my fault. <laughs> mystery solved. I did it. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is... Well, we're a superstar. We'll blame somebody else for causing us to get to that point. Yeah, it wasn't me. I do nothing wrong. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece it's of furniture. It's booze or a You're ball. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Uh, <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need anybody. <laughs> I don't need shoes. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I want to get that shoe. A cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. All right, I have my. I gave myself a mission: find the shoe. 
I'm gonna take this one a while. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. Ah. There's a single key on the ring. <laughs> He's the fucking number one Brits. is etched on it. It should open the door. These Brits and their aluminium. Just say words right. Oh shit, I can't get out there yet. Am I not wearing any shoes? Ma'am. Have you seen Hello, my shoes? Officer. How do I get to the balcony? The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Officer, am I military personnel? Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just Maybe keep on walking. All right. Uh, in this version of me, I'm charismatic and a superstar, so I would talk to a stranger. And the real, the real version of me would just go, eh, and make a weird noise that's half a word, and then just move away. Have a good one. <laughs> you too. You too. Uh, no. She seems perplexed by the question. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. Uh... Wait, I, I know I'm a businessman, chief executive officer, right? Then why did you call me an officer? This face is fucking... Is this the face of authority? I'm going to so say... I'm, I'm going to ask because I don't think I'm... A, I don't look like a businessman. Officer, sir. God, they're my own policeman and don't you forget it. You're shitting me. Are you sure? If I'm not sure, then there's no way she can be sure because I am me and she's not me. So she's not sure. I am, yes. This is the face I'm of a guy you can trust. That's a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. You've been here for three days on official police business, no less. And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far. Mostly drinking. Bless me. You're going to have to go outside with one. How do I get out there? Why, well, I don't remember being a cop or anything. Uh, why don't I remember who's in the right mind to let me, an officer of the law, be an officer of the law? Why don't Could I remember? Could it be because of the drinking? So I, I'm guessing I have like amnesia or something. Cause I've uh, been blackout drunk the past three days. Yeah, was it so? Was I? Did I drink so much? I just removed my memories. You're a superstar. What does it matter? That's true. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't need shoes. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. A glib remark. Don't let it stand. Assert yourself. You can have it. Uh, yeah, I remember all the time. I only ever blacked out once, and it's horrifying. And now I, I drink I once like, a yeah, week. I did it. I, I browned out once, and I didn't like it. I didn't like the idea of knowing that I didn't know what I said for the last, like, I didn't hour. like waking up in a bed wondering where I was. Oh, it's spooky. I've never gone full on blackout. Actually, uh, I'm the, it's alright. It's worth it. <laughs> it's worth experiencing. Should I assert my authority on this stranger who dare be glib? I'm gonna assert my. Uh, I mean, does she know who she's talking to? She's talking Have to you? the superstar <laughs> disco. Yeah, or whatever his name. What's his name? Contradictory statements. You. No, I had to throw my shoe out the window. I deduced this. Yes, yeah, see, I'm a detective. Extraordinary. She pulls on her cigarette and nods. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Should I try? Try to be ex. Uh, try the expression on her. Let her know you want her physically uh my shirt is covered in 
and vomit. That's okay. You're a superstar. Yeah, I'm a superstar. The words of already shit. <laughs> she just probably doesn't know who you are. I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. I do declare I want to fornicate with you, my lady. <laughs> no. You see, that's not what you said. You said. <laughs> she, but she's unable to finish, consumed with laughter. Come I on, tried, boys. Pretty, please. 20% of the time works 100% of the time. <laughs> Come on, pretty, please, one more Double time. Back down now. Say what you said again. Double down <laughs> like a champ. Superstar, I said I want to have fuck with you, Mantam. <laughs> Goddamn right you did. You crazy asshole, you. What kind of cop are you? I'm a stripper cop. <laughs> <laughs> you've you've found me out. <laughs> oh no. Score, I've done it. Forty two percent of the time it does work a hundred percent of the of the time. Superstar cop. <laughs> it's been established. Superstar cop. Does this keep track of all of the even those the minor things I've uh, I've said? Because that's pretty great. Is it listening to me? <laughs> that's right. Okay, that's cool. Or if I can just maybe ask you to elaborate on that superstardom a tiny bit. Is this game brilliant <laughs> already? I think I think that's why people like it. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's really <laughs> smart. I want to have fuck with video game. Uh, uh, I'm gonna ask you to elaborate on the superstar I'm a tiny bit. It means I'm bloated, all drunk, with sideburns, and disco pants. I don't, if I don't have a joke up my sleeve, it's on me. I sincerely think I'm a superstar. It's a theory I'm developing. Uh, how would I, Alex? How would I take this on? Uh, I feel like if you say you're a superstar out loud, if I keep saying it, you're not selling it. Is that, isn't, that the, isn't that the secret? If you like, if you keep saying it, it'll eventually like become. No, real. you gotta act like you already are the superstar. You can't just be like, "I'm a superstar." Leave me. But I, the other choice isn't that grand either. You right, know? Hold on, Dorgo. Which one did you? Were you? Uh... Okay. I have certainly been entertained. Thank you. Whatever you are, you should stick to it. Otherwise. Goddamn right. I'm going to become a superstar by the end of this game. It's it's destiny. It's going to suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. <gasps> what do you mean by that? And for the record, no, I didn't do it. The fuck does that mean? Where's my shoe? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Can I run? I was too busy being a superstar to think about whatever's going on. Oh, is there no run? <gasps> How am I getting him to run sometimes? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Are you holding a button? Oh, you just click farther away. And then it'll auto run. So if I click all the way up here. Or no. Yeah. I think it. So if it's close by. I don't know what the fuck. Whatever. I'm running now. Who cares? Let me find my shoe. Something on the table. Should I steal? Would a superstar steal? All uh, money is absolutely. a superstar's money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been est it's been established. From the moment you woke up in a drunken stupor, I've known you as a superstar. That's the most superstar intro ever. After a night of going nuts, raving, discoing, Probably just sitting alone Bam. in your room drinking sadly. This but superstar now fun. has two shoes. There's no need to flex or nothing. Where's my other shoe? I just picked it up. Oh, wait, was that only one shoe? Fuck, do I gotta go back to my room to get my shoe? 
Did Hold you on. leave your shoe in the... Ah, oh, embarrassing. <laughs> uh... Shit. Superstar would have two shoes. Two shoes to the wind, or so they say. I think I've heard them say that once. Yeah, it's a real statement. Bam! Now I can go anywhere and do anything. Nothing can stop me. No terrain. No terrain to Callus. This is March. The year is 51. It looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. What a fucking asshole. She's definitely guilty. Give me that. I want to smoke the butt. <laughs> Gotta smoke the butt. There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. Wait, Moving up in like... this world. Started with one, now have two. That's it. That's, I've pretty much beaten it. How do they fit? Yeah. Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth be told. Oh, I should be drinking, right? To match my character. I got it to truly... I'm a method actor. You're a superstar. Mm-hmm. You always want to click the dots above your head? They're usually your brain talking to you? I know there's another thing. Which one was it? Is it T? One of these buttons gives me, like, what, like, different thoughts or something that are going. The door is closed. I'm going to knock. Now that I got well, two shoes. No Damn. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. So? <laughs> I'm a fucking superstar. They should be you gotta be the center of attention. Yeah, they should be upset they're not doing things with me. That's their loss. Yeah, my gain. Why are you doing this? Don't do this to me. Fuck you, brain. <laughs> Shut the your mouth. The door is mute and indifferent. Your despair is a joke to it. All right, I don't want to be a creep. I'll just move on. Superstar doesn't fucking sit outside the door of the only woman that's talked to him ever and and be a sad sack about it. Oh, I should have put this on the uh, on the SSD. I regret that. I regret that now. Right, my first moment to be a superstar. There's a microphone, a big old oh, karaoke mic. Just... <laughs> this is where the lyrics would be. Well, let me just sing into it like a real superstar. Do do do. Do, 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 do. I want something else. A man in Get me through this. Stands behind the counter. Superstar kind of life. Save it, save it. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he is purposely ignoring you. Looks like he's not a fan. I sense you're not a fan of mine. Let me oh, change no. that. You're a hero. A real hero cop. I will not take thank that you. as sarcasm. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm <laughs> yeah. glad you, you recognize that I'm a hero. So not only am I a cop, but I'm also a hero. Yes, you are. A real decorated hero. I will take all of this as for... He's so kind. <laughs> not do? First you took the body down. Then you solved the murder. Then you didn't trash my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. I did do those things. <laughs> oh my god, I did all those things? I must be a superstar. That's so much. Where do I find the time? 
I sound really cool drunk. <laughs> I'm way better actually, drunk. You didn't. You haven't done anything even remotely. I'm ignoring that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I didn't hear <laughs> it. <laughs> I didn't what hear was it. that? <laughs> only, comp so, only compliments past these years. I'm a superstar. So pour me another round, sir. <laughs> Put it on my tab. I have no money. Uh, what have I been doing then? Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. It's a little rude. He's implying we're always around. <laughs> but we're the entertainment, because we're superstars. You know, I'd be disappointed. That's why he's upset, because he's not always around me. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. Is this how I'm supposed to take it as a real person? Is this how I'm supposed to look at my environment? Because I don't do any of this. I don't even like pay attention to what's going on around me most of the time. Something about it. I'll just forget all that information like <laughs> immediately after I see it. Like, I'll leave the building or the restaurant, and I'm like, well, that didn't exist anymore. What happened? No reason to commit it to memory. Your body is over there. He looks at the doors where a man is in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him? What okay. do you mean by my buddy? Everyone's my friend, pal. He pretends not to hear you. Everyone's a fan of mine. On the bird instead. I'm not going to ask number three, are you the bartender? Because that's the dumbest question I could ever ask. Unless he isn't. And then I'm a brilliant detective for noticing that he's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm he not going to ask all the him. Praise. There's a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. All right, where's my friend at? Is that dude? bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful dark liquid is spilling out. Lick the table! What was it? Tab? Sleeping dock worker. A man is sleeping at the table wearing a mud cake boots. Wearing mud cake boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads, Wild Pines encircled by a logo with a tree. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Uh, everything is mine. The man does not mind. Everything you is mine. I'm a superstar. More than he does. You've just picked up some magnesium. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen above your character portrait. Use magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage. Our morale must cool. never fall. <laughs> it never will. I'm a superstar. If my morale even takes a hit, I'm over. Superstars have tip-top morale at all times. And I won't hear otherwise. <laughs> Sign reads, mess hall reserved for union members. Door opens 1,600 hours. Or 16 o'clock. <laughs> Doors bolted. Sign reads, kitchen reserved for personnel until 13 o'clock. <laughs> or 1 o'clock. To you dummies out there. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. You never... What are you... Th I do every time there's something over... What are you talking about, these halo dots? Yeah, I'll, I'll, you have to point them out next time. I don't even see him. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this Why man even would think, put though? himself in Why not just act? to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Who is he to me, the superstar? <laughs> he is your half-brother. Should I shake his hand? Would a superstar shake hands with another person? Probably, right? I'll shake his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, 
Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. Oh, shit. I never even considered <laughs> having a name. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. A new slate. What did you always want to be called? Fuck it. There's no reason not to take it. Concentrate. Yes! <laughs> you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange. Like a forest fire looming on the horizon. But mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it. But there are still many to go. It is not yet time to have a name. I don't really know my name. I'm even wanting more. It is not yet time. Okay, then. He uh, processes the information and then disregards it. Is he a superstar, too? It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Uh, yeah, the bird man. Uh, yeah. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? <laughs> I haven't done shit, but I'll say I have, because <laughs> I'm a superstar. <laughs> I have no weakness. All you gotta do is sell it. You gotta sound. <laughs> Absolutely. You gotta sound convincing. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that. It's all through my lies. At the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? <laughs> Completely. <laughs> I've done it all. <laughs> Everything you think I did, I did. <laughs> Absolutely. Completely. Does that mean you took the body down from the tree? <laughs> Completely no, is what I meant to say. <laughs> Absolutely no, I didn't. Is that's what I meant. <laughs> so, the body is still in the tree. <laughs> This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. What were we supposed to do again? I should probably ask this. Not that it's a sign of weakness. <laughs> I just need to know. Talk to the manager. I want to know if he knows. Then we go out back and take the body down. All right. After you, officer. I have a teammate. I have a teammate. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, I have a badge here or something? You mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up. Pretend you found it. <laughs> I have my badge. I'm a policeman and I have my badge. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> I like that there's not if even like a call to action in the game yet, and it's bad. really, really engaging you still. Need to report yeah. it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the Is this good? Is this a good video game? Mm -hmm. Oh shit, but I gotta go to the bathroom for no particular reason in my room. Not that I don't have my badge or anything. don't have the badge then we, that would be very bad you would need to report it on my shortwave but since you do have it i can go straight to task at hand lieutenant kitsuragi is now in your party you can talk to him oh, oh hell yeah interacting with him well how's he gonna oh fuck you got a frenchman oh, i gotta hold on can i tell him to stay while i get my badge <laughs> yes yeah he's gonna make it seem like we're lying uh, you seem to be following me. Stop Excuse that. Excuse me. <laughs> Sweet, dude. <laughs> uh, what if I want to work this case alone? Detective, if I may be frank, you seem to be in a deranged state. 
You have trouble remembering. I've never felt better in my whole goddamn life. You act in the name of the RCM without supervision until you've regained control of your faculties. Oh, so you're an unaccountable wreck who has to be supervised. You don't have to take this display of authority. You can disobey. All right. I'm going to tell him. A superstar would definitely be a little bit arrogant. Or you don't need to supervise me, Kim. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I'm good enough on my own. I found my shoe. Who, who do you think you are, Lieutenant? Ah, oh, fuck. He got me with... Man. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> fuck, how do I... Uh, no. Uh. What if I need some me time? Some you time? This is a police investigation, not a journey of self-discovery. You'll still have your evenings to yourself. Okay, I'll leave the self-care for not working. Sounds good. A moment passes. The lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. All right. I'm going to go get my badge, I think. It's in my room that I never grabbed. Is this an actual RPG? Uh, is there like combat? Ow, I don't think there's combat. I think it's uh, it's one of these, the old, did you ever see like Planescape or whatever? I think it's one of those, but with no combat whatsoever. I think it's just like all Fallout, talking. Like the first two Fallouts? Yes. But it's just, um, is that my badge? Kim also tries not oh, that to Halo. the pile of tape viscera on the carpet. Or the weird suitcase on the hat rack. Or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid to ignore. <laughs> I did it my way. Should I say I said this earlier? This is where the magic is this game listening to me? This is where the magic happens. <laughs> I said that earlier out loud. Is this game listening to me? <laughs> I think you just won with the superstar. <laughs> And by that, you mean crimes against humanity? Yes. <laughs> this is an expression yeah. of me, yes. my individualism. Well. I defied the bourgeoisie. Morality in here. Defied it hard. Yeah, fuck them. I have no idea what that means. It's all me, baby. This room is me. If you don't like it, get the fuck out. The bed is cold. And not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheets look awful. The superstar, the superstar would definitely have a huge drug, drug problem if that becomes Yes, absolutely. I'm going to drink everything. The option to go to sleep becomes available every night after 2100. No time to rest yet. Where's my fucking badge, though? <laughs> I need to get that before I'm caught. Hold on. I noticed the halo now. I thought that was a, like, I didn't think that was actually something to click on for some reason. Can I swing from the... This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself I need that. to one of them. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Pull on the fan. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to... Damn, I should have fucking just went for it and grabbed it because I wanted to impress Kim. If I could have just grabbed it out of the air. Don't fuck this you up. Okay. <laughs> against the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Do I got my tie on? All right, that's more, almost more important than my badge. Style? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck is my... Oh, there's my coat! Disco ass blazer. <laughs> All right, we're almost ready. I might uh, actually my badge might even be in there already. I guess not. 
What is my intel intelligence one? Shit. <laughs> well, might as well keep it at that. <laughs> I didn't know it was that low. My psych is huge. This is definitely superstar stats. How well you move your body decently. How well your body. Dude, I got the two most important numbers right here. Dude, I love that you picked the social one. And I'm still like, I want to fuck with you or whatever he said. And that's your, your really good <laughs> social couldn't... situations choice. Yeah, um, you'd think I'd have a high chance of nailing that if my, my psych is so high. So I guess, do these stats go up? Unless it goes up to like 10. Maybe. Fuck, I need my badge. He's going to find out. He's going to find out I lied about having my badge. All right, well... It is what it is. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette. Oh, <gasps> I can. Tray, light it up and smoke the. Dude, it's listening to you. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke his butt right in front of Kim. Who knows what you are? A monster, a murderer, the gnome of Jeroma. You feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stub, still smoldering. Delicious. But she broke it at the filter. I can't smoke. I can. You gotta believe in How yourself. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette, or better yet, an entire pack. I have a mission. Strike that. A carton. Make sure we have a call to action. Does this sound about right, Alex? You were trying to quit. Is this, is no. this the kind of thoughts you had? The idea seems to make your neck expand. Suddenly, the garish tie feels very snug. I, I'm putting the... Why did I pick up the tie if it's going to talk or to me? You could not do that. No one is making you. Uh, I should definitely get a whole carton of cigarettes. Good. They'll make you stronger and better. Yeah. yeah. You're too old to I want to be a dragon. <laughs> but find cigarettes. Smoke them. Blam. Instantly a cool renegade man. A mystical red dragon with smoke rising from his nostrils. I didn't even... How am I, like, so in sync with the video game? Plus... Smoking <laughs> then gives massive bonuses. Cool. We can be super strong. I can be super strong and cool. I can be the superstar I see myself as. How, uh, how much do these choices change the outcome? The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger. This is the first thing I see. The <laughs> man with the unimpressive <laughs> beard. Mr. Gart, right? You yep. run this place. Yes. He responds tersely. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. Uh, he looks at you realizing he still doesn't know your name. The Harbinger of Ruin is what I could say that, that I am. Uh, what is this gold orange like a forest fire but smells like liquor? Oh, that's my... <laughs> I'm currently in between names. All of these are the coolest answers I could give. Alex. Kind of like I'm currently in between names. <laughs> That's you definitely just, really. It's not important. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, it's like when you've left your band, but you haven't decided a solo artist name yet. Kim is about to say something. Let him. I would keep talking. I'm the superstar. I want to dig the hole as deep as yeah, I can. Yeah, you dig love it. your own voice more than anything. I think so. But there's a dead body out back. No one wants to work in these conditions. It's been a week. Sir, 
I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. Is Kim upstaging me right now? What, does he think he's a superstar? Oh. For a moment, the man he needs to learn his place. His gaze. Then How do we fight Kim? <laughs> I'll, I'll kill him and then swap the dead body for Kim's body and then put the dead body in Kim's clothes and then pretend to be both him and me. It's the only answer. <laughs> it's the only way. <laughs> it's the only, <laughs> only possible solution. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Ah, uh, placing the blame on somebody else. That sounds like our thing you're trying to steal from <laughs> us. It's, uh, what, what a... I knew you were weak when I saw your beard. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. He looks behind the pile of coasters and finds a slip of paper and hands it to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I want to do something with my, my face. <laughs> I want to fix something. I want to put my face where his face is. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> I just want to do this. How fast can I do it? Oh, I'm naked without my border. Here, we'll uh, get rid of some things. Oh, I have never changed the name tag. Doesn't matter. It's gone now. I am only... I am only uh, liquid gold or whatever. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Alright, give me a second. Go get a drink or something while I do this. Leave me be. Let me become... Let me become Mr. Disco. Crop. I gotta set this up for... Uh... Oh, I have, to try. I have to put the numbers in manually. Was that 70? Bottom, about fucking about 60 maybe. Put, put a little, maybe put a little 80. No, maybe 90. Maybe 100. Even. You gotta mirror the image too. I do, so I'm never. I'm, I can't be looking away. Transform. Bam. Now I look where I need to look. probably as close as I'm going to get it for now. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Bam! Alright, now I'm him. Next time we play, I'm going to be I'm going to be so situated in this box. <laughs> I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it a point. If you ever make games, there will always be some form of shark and you always have to jump it. That'd be pretty good. They should make it that you can... That you can connect these kind of portraits to your webcam on all games from now on. So they can always see you. So right. you don't have to do the transform. Yeah, so yourself. I don't have to do it. <laughs> That's the only I want them to do it so I don't have to. I didn't imply that. Detective. Oh wait, what were we talking about? I was too busy was thinking of myself again. Was it a was it burnout or need for speed where like if you won it would show it would take a picture of your webcam of like your face smiling and people would just abuse that and put like do goatsies 
oh, so that everyone that's a, who loses sees right. their asshole. People would immediately take advantage of that. What if it's a single player game? It's like whatever. Put a weird uh, painting filter on it. Hold on, I can do that. All right, I will be cel shaded. There I am. <laughs> I think there's a none of these make sense. None of these like actually work well. I could do heat map and be real trippy. None of the filters are good. <laughs> there we go. That's that's as close as we're gonna get. Whoa. Holy shit, dude, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Alright, we're done. we're done. No more of that. I gotta play video game. I can. <laughs> I can be real. Turn the brightness. Oh, it's getting real weird. I think I'm starting to match. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Hold on. Oh, too much. We went too far. I need to match Kim. All right, boom. I am art now. I am the superstar. <laughs> what? You're to hide the <laughs> yeah, there's a big, there's a big glow. It looks the most like cartoony. <laughs> Kim has a shine on his head too. He ain't better than me. <laughs> Kim, <laughs> Kim ain't better than me. His camera said, hey, "I'm gonna, it's, I'm not gonna forget about all that. I have, I have me fit next time. This is the, it, <laughs> it looks fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't, not fuck with it. Help me, someone stop me. Just tell me to play a game. You, you, you should probably play a game. Right, oof, you're right, Alex. No problem, man. What were we talking about, Kim? I." <laughs> <laughs> I went down my own rabbit hole. Look, I look like a cartoon kid. I look like you. <laughs> I'm just going to say what? <laughs> it's your turn. He takes a respectful step back. Oh, you mean questions? Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? Mm. Uh, who killed him? <laughs> just tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Just tell me the call. The, was it you? Yeah, did you do it? Your beard looks like shit. You trying to hide <laughs> something? Never trust a guy with a patchy, shitty beard. I should know. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. <laughs> I'm not the police. That's your job. Who killed him? Did you kill him? <laughs> what are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Hmm, someone sounds defensive. Wow, so I mean, I would have just said no. Blood is being pushed to your muscles. You should hound him on this. Hound him hard. The prey drive. You killed says. him. You definitely. You're the killer. <laughs> Did you kill him, Garde? No, I didn't. <laughs> you could tell me you killed him, right? I didn't. I don't appreciate this. <laughs> what is this? Why did you have to kill him? <laughs> Dude, this game's awesome. <laughs> this game's that like. Okay, do you remember how we were? I was talking about how. People that aren't funny, you can tell when they try to write funny dialogue. Yeah, these are funny this, people. This is funny people writing actually funny dialogue. Left click the doubt. Imagine trusting your inner voice when you're this fucked up. It's the worst thing I could do. I'm about to just fight him. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> he shouldn't have killed him. Why did you have to kill him? <laughs> do I have to answer him? Is this mandatory? The lieutenant stands motionless, his expression unreadable. <laughs> Did he hurt you? Is that why? Did you get some kind of sick kick out of killing him? <laughs> bad cop and bad cop. <laughs> what are you, an idiot? I told you I, <laughs> I actually am, anyone. in fact. Have you seen my stats? Anyone, have you killed someone else then? 
Hmm. He ignores you. All right. He got away this time. Dude, if we change the ending of the game to it was actually him because of our choices of hounding him. <laughs> I think he did it. Who else is here? Is that old lady in the corner? I don't think so. It wasn't so. me, I think. I feel like I would have remembered killing him. Your one intelligence is really making this game a gem. Yeah, this is hilarious. Is he usually not this funny? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's great. Where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Oh, yeah. Buffalo Bill did taxidermy, too. It's usually funny, but this is a new funny. Okay, so this is actually... So my one intelligence is actually affecting... All the dialogue what, My choices. options. Because that's fucking impressive. He points to the... Uh, sorry, behind this building, there's a courtyard. He points to the kitchen behind him. They keep it at one. Bunch. I'm absolutely going to keep it as, at one. And how Super do we Star get there then? <laughs> That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. There's then a trap. Your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. There's a trap on a the other really side of that door. Big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Does he want you to feel guilty of making that hole? It's implied in his voice. I don't feel shit. <laughs> it's not my fault the fence couldn't handle me. Yeah, if anything, I feel successful. I just found the co the killer. She went no, I just need proof. None of your business. Fine. Extra fine. Are you the bartender? <laughs> no, I'm not the bartender. I'm the yeah, see? I'm see, you were a genius. <laughs> I'm on to you. I'm on to you, buddy. He can't bartend while he's killing. You can't do two things at once. He's very animated all of a sudden. This is clearly a touchy subject for him. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias I manage. Three. Get over. I found his weakness. Let's go. Did I do good? <laughs> Did I do good, Kim? <laughs> Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Oh. No one is saying. The multi-pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. But... Let's bail! Time to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility! You don't like those! <laughs> he's 100% right! <laughs> no. Don't listen to him. It's but he sounds so just How would I it? slip talk. away in front of him? <laughs> you should try it. That's so low. <laughs> I don't remember my tie yet. But that's 17. What if you. Lucky Disco. 17% of the time it works 100% of the time. What do you guys say? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was easy. <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought you would say. All right. Here we go. Roll them dice. Roll them dice. If I saw when I slip away in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> One moment you're running like the wind. Then you've suddenly turned around and are giving him the finger. Furiously. <laughs> with both hands. Why? Why? Fuck you, <laughs> asshole. That's why. I'm a fucking superstar. I'm a fucking superstar. <laughs> Why'd I do this? Why'd I have to use both my hands to flip them off? <laughs> I would never... Fuck you, asshole! Watch out! <laughs> you, you, you kill her. If I murdered her, what do I do then? Everything goes dark. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what did you do? I might, what did I do? Back so soon. Oh my, did I fail? So worth it. <laughs> Do we game over? Midget, you just missed the quarter light. The darkness on the edge of town. How's it going out there? Are the tiny apes screaming about money yet? It's not going very well. I'm doing great. Fuck you guys. It doesn't look so, sweetie. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Superstar pose. Oh, good. It keeps going. Fuck uh, yeah. I was worried it'd be a game yeah. over. Yeah, I was I was worried they were going to stop me from doing I Also because they didn't stop me. This game is excellent. No. Yeah, you sustained the trauma to your lower neck. In addition, you have strained your left trapezius muscle. <laughs> why that old bitch have to be in the way? Yeah, why is she? It would have been perfect with her fucking her lead wheelchair so heavy. Well, it's a lieutenant. I almost got away with it too if it wasn't for this lady. This is your fault. <laughs> uh. I'm not very okay. I only talk about me. Ma'am, are you all right? <laughs> I didn't even ask her if she's all right. Oh, I'm fine. He just tripped over my chair. Check on him. She looks at you with concern. Sir, I didn't I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. This has always been a cop friendly place. There's something about them actually having him double flip or the flip the bird is so good. The drinks are on the house, okay? There were a lot of drinks on the tab. I still have to charge you for three nights. Did I just get fucking window, free though. booze? <laughs> Did I just get everything for free? <laughs> Goddamn superstar. I'm a fucking superstar. <laughs> Did you really fail the check though? Did I fail? I don't think so. Yeah, I took a hit. I took a damage. It's worth it. <laughs> Fucking superstar. Thank you for your cooperation. Don't thank me yet. <laughs> you still owe me a hundred real. If you don't have it by tonight, I just can't let you up there. He points upstairs to your room. <clears throat> and for God's sake, watch out for yourself. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'll, I'll flip him a bird until he gives me a free room. All I've learned from this is that I get free shit when I'm uh, reckless. Our life lesson is do the bad thing. <laughs> and get the good stuff. And get right. rewarded. Where is home? The address is coming up blank. And this place sure isn't it. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. And, uh... In time or space? Both. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Shit. I live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cop. <laughs> yeah. Entertain the thought when you get the time. Maybe I obtain the thought of Hobo cop. <laughs> has its advantages. This is a good game. I've act I've legit laughed more at this than every humorous game I've played <laughs> so far. Someone is working. Oh yeah, I gotta go through the kitchen. Kim, why aren't you fucking telling me where to go? It's great because it's like I I can't believe some of these things are in the game. Yeah, they it's genuinely funny. They, it's taking me by surprise all the time. Like I just, I didn't even know. I didn't expect you to run out and do the double middle finger. <laughs> it's scream, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, asshole. Shit. I thought he said it was past the. I haven't even left this building. There's a whole city out there that I gotta go fuck up. So I'll say, by role playing game, I think this kind of nails it more so than like, like I'm playing a role. I could do whatever I want in this city. And it, the game, oh, there's that's where I gotta go. But like, this is more of like a role playing game than like, you know, just uh, getting in the fights and you know, getting like doing stuff with stats and rolling the dice. Like this feels more like I'm actually yeah. just, I'm playing a role. I can be an asshole. I can be I can be a good cop. I can be a shit cop, and the game is working around that. It's actually really impressive. I don't even think DMs would let me do half the shit I'm doing in this. It's really neat. We'll get there when we get there. I'm trying to think of this guy. He's full on just... 
it, I guess it depends on if he gets a hold of money, he would become super capitalist or not. If he gets a hold of money, he definitely would. But he's probably going to become Hobo Cop. I'm trying to think. This guy... This, yeah, if he gets money, he would be like, I deserve all the money then. If I'm thinking in, in uh, if I'm thinking like him, like a drunk. Well, uh, yeah, I feel like his actions are, it's oh, also, as soon as he gets the money, he's going to waste the money. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. This kid's throwing rocks at the corpse. I'm going to talk to this kid. He seems pretty cool. Why is the corpse still here? Kuno's got this. The boy throwing rocks at the uh, dead body can't be older than 12. Fuck you, kid, call me. Uh, should I get in? Should I? Hey, kid, a word. Police business. Whoa! Kuno! <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't expect that. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to Is this kid fucking challenging you? His body. <laughs> do I need We're gonna have our first fight? <laughs> do I do I need to throw down with a child? I'm not above it. Hold on, what does that mean? Stop throwing rocks at my crime scene. Stop using slurs at my crime scene. That's not how we do it. I use the slurs in my crime scene. Only me. The kid is obviously high. Flex on this boy. Stop getting high in my crime scene. Only I get high in my crime scene. <laughs> they pay you no heed or pretend not to notice you. Shits himself. The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. Kid, you want to hang out? I'm not a narc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kim, what should we do? He's flexing on me, Kim. How do I fight him? I want to <laughs> punch him, but I'm not allowed. I'm an adult. <laughs> Kim, look away while I hit this kid. Look, I have questions for you. Kid, you want to hang out? Uh, are you, you kids siblings? Why does that even matter? I'm, I'm going to question right. this kid. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Uh, the body, what do you know about it? About the crime scene you kids often play in this yard. I got to ask who is Kuno. Um, He's Kuno, right? Or is he not? I think he's just talking in the third person. That's what I think too. Shitload pig, what's your question? All right. Tell the pig shit, Kuno. Kid, I don't even know if I'm a cop. I'd say flex your badge, but I don't have a badge. Don't. <laughs> I'm not don't technically not a cop right now. <laughs> Game, help me out. Uh, what do we want to know? I don't have question. No. Uh. I'm in th I'm threatened by this kid. <laughs> He's outsmarting me. If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. All right. You have no idea what the usual is. Just ask whatever comes to mind. Um. Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Do you know how to go? How I got up there? Do you know who he is? I'll ask the first one. Kuno's fuck imp. Kuno uses the fuck imp for target practice. End of conversation. Very strong. You should be this stoic. Now let's talk about something else. Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. <gasps> that seems That's me. Suspicious to that Kuno. motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna throw rocks at him. Yeah, but you're stupid, you so you think there might be actual pigs. Probably climbed. 
Kuna was busy down the road when that shit went down. I'm arresting. He he's obviously the murderer. This twelve year old. If I had a badge, I'd flash it at him and slap him with it. You had Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, okay. Where did you go then? I don't know. Some fucking. He looks around trying to come up with something. Mesco. Or, or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. Uh. This has nothing to do with the body. Okay, about the dead yeah. body. Kuno didn't smoke him, if that's what you mean. He draws snot up his nose. I'm rolling this. I need to learn from Kuno how to You're become cool. Testing Kuno's patience, yeah. Just start saying, yeah, Matt doesn't know. Matt don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> do kids play often in this yard? Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo choo. What do you want with it? Take yeah, his choo-choo. doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I'm confiscating it. It's it's evidence. Police business. Who Police is Kuno? Choo -choo. Kuno's Kuno pig. The boy points to his chest with both hands. Kuno. Primal. Violent. Fight the kid. So you refer to yourself in the third person. Kuno sounds like something you'd call a rabid dog. Oh, that's fighting words. Yeah. Think about it. Think about that rabid Kuno shit. Damn, he likes it. He seems glad someone understood what he was going for. Because right can this be the spark of a distracted. budding friendship? <laughs> Kim, you're fired. Kuno, you're hired. I like the cut of Kuno's jib. <laughs> Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you. He's gonna put his hands on you. Yeah, fist. I mean, not the other. <laughs> we'll fight. Yeah, I'm gonna fight him. Not. <laughs> Do the other things. Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! The sounds get louder as the child shouts at the windows overlooking the yard. Help! He's got the Kuno! Help! Fuck! Well, I'm the police. Uh, you can't do care. shit. Yeah, we're gonna do call to us. Fucking yeah, idiot. I'm already here. <laughs> like, what do you I'm not doing anything! Everybody! Please! He's digging his dick out! Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> That's an unrelated reason. <laughs> it's just because I forgot about where You're my pants dead, were. Kuno, somebody, please. All right. I have a 42% chance him. to challenge him and shut him down. Challenge Kuno 40% of the time, 100% of the time. All right. We're going for it. Fuck it. 42%. I'm going to beat the shit out of Kuno. Yes. Push him down. Yeah. <laughs> Superstar. That was a great the sound. Surprisingly well. <laughs> That's how you get Kuno's respect. <laughs> you got anything shame. more to say, Punk? Kuno feels it. This was no light tap. Goddamn right. I mean, I'm like, what was my, what was my physique? Four out of four out of five. <sighs> The disoriented 12 year old is trying to get his bearings. Everyone calm down. Now that I beat the shit out of him. You're all acting a little rambunctious. You made me do this. You did this to yourself. I'm going to gaslight him. Now that I shrunk his child, everyone calm down. Guys, you're overreacting. You made me do this. <laughs> no, officer. You did this. Get yourself together. I'm pretty sure he made me hit him. But For Kim, he's, sake, he's a... He thinks, this has gone he's high as fuck. Far. Don't make this any worse than it is. Just get back to questioning. Don't Kim. listen to those fucking Melvins. You didn't <laughs> yeah. go far enough. Okay, pig. He's no longer wearing his demonic grin. Something happened. The punch made him calmer. <laughs> I have if this tamed the Kuno. If him trying to establish dominance over you, it's safe to say things didn't go as he'd planned. Kuno knows to respect that violent shit. You should see. See, you gotta speak dad. his language, Kim. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about anything. <laughs> I want to fight your dad. The creature behind <laughs> the fence has fallen ominously silent. Only her eyes are alive, jumping from actor to actor. Okay, pig. Talk to Kuno. 
We're back in this See, ship. Kim doesn't understand the how the how the streets want. work. Uh, should I show empathy now? So you no, double down. So you punch him again. <laughs> so you respect me now? Yeah, get cocky. You're dreaming, pig. That's not how this shit works. A little. But don't expect anything to change. Don't let him dominate you, Kuno. Fuck his fat ass. Whoa. I Are we going to fight? I'm going to punch him again. <laughs> I could keep doing this oh. all day. <laughs> it's easy. It barely even... I'm bigger than you. It didn't even hurt me. I barely felt anything when I punched you. <laughs> I want to discuss the body with you again. The fuck about it? I don't think I can even... <laughs> There's no point doing that. More on this later. Testing Kuno's patience yet. Get lost. All right. Empathy. I'm gonna try to pretend. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm the bad cop and How the good I cop. How do I reach these kids? <laughs> get the. I get the chair. Flip it backwards and sit on it. All right. Now that we're we're friends now. He's on your crime scene, bossing you around, and he's been here for some time too. Damn, I failed. This is where he hangs out. You have to get more out of him. He could be useful. Uh, hey, Kuna, I think you can turn... Oh. I think you can turn the Kuna down for a moment. Let's talk like normal people. Give me the chair so I can spin it backwards and sit on it. See eye to eye with this kid. Kim, get me the chair. The one that's comfortable when I sit on it backwards. Kuna, listen. I know this boundary-pushing thing is new to you. But it's old news for us grown-ups. Uh, this could be Annie either. <laughs> you know, uh, I think you could turn. I don't think. I don't even think there's anything to turn down. I think this is just this kid. But do you think I could? Do you think there's a normal person in that? <laughs> in that shell? Well, I mean, he's high as fuck right now, right? Ah, fuck, I don't know. Here, you guys choose. Now, if you go in the side, I think there's like a, a button you can hit, and then you can pick. I think it just shows up in the window. Oh, does it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, like automatically? That's cool. Mm-hmm. You're too slow. <laughs> you failed me, all of you. Uh, we'll just say turn down the Kuno. Trying to fuck at the Kuno. Trying to fuck at me. <laughs> Kuno only gets higher. It's faster, faster, faster. Can't take the Kuno. Stay out of the reactor. Dad, damn it. <laughs> I should have known. He was actually, that was the most human he's ever been. Kuno gonna fuck you up. Up, up, up. She pumps her bony fist in the air. Normal is not what we got here. You've got to work with what you have for now. Yeah. The kingdom of Kuno. The fuck do you want with it? Uh, fuck. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't Take his fucking throne. <laughs> Push him again. <laughs> I think it's it. I think I got everything I'm going to get out of him. I have failed. This interrogation. I thought I could... I thought I could just, uh... I could impress him. I was a superstar. Fuck Kuno you. Fine. Doesn't fucking care. <laughs> so like spoiled meat and curled there. Think I could. Fuck does Kuno care? Yeah, I think Kuno I don't think I'm gonna get any get anything else out of the kid. I have failed. Kim, don't look at me like that. I fucking hate that he's here judging me. Skid ladder is rickety but still climbable. Someone is trying to grow herbs in this garden greenhouse. How do I take this body down? The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. Look down. I don't turn away. 
A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in, even through your clenched nostrils. Endurance, legendary. Fuck! 8%! I can't handle it. Active decay. It's okay to throw up with his arm. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Oh no! No one look! Swallow all the vomit <laughs> as it's coming out. <laughs> Throw up on Kuno. Establish dominance. <laughs> All right, this is an eight percent chance. You're gonna go for it. I don't want to. That's what's, almost one. What do I had to lose, right? That's true. I think I'm vo I'm vomiting no matter what, right? But this is my chance to just close. The smell Fuck. is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Oh, here it comes. That was the booze. I'm just hung over, kids. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm not I me. threw up because I'm too cool. Too late. It's well, when you're hung over, it's really him. easy to, like, body curls smell and something and vomit immediately. Burst yeah, burst. especially if it's more I mean, alcohol. Had, like, yeah, I've even had like pizza smell made me want to like hurl. It's like oh, I had Until pizza when I was drunk. Oh no! Under your feet, and your throat stings from the stomach acid. I would never apologize. I'll blame the corpse. <laughs> Keep it. The lieutenant hands you a blue checkered handkerchief. I. Is that too much? Would a superstar be like, I don't need your pity? That's probably too much. He's not an asshole on purpose. Yeah. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. We could use he's an asshole because he doesn't know any better. Yeah, he's an asshole because he's dumb and overconfident, not because he's trying to be an asshole. Except when he punched that kid. <laughs> Whatever. He didn't know any better. Yeah, it's the only way he knew how to solve a situation. Uh, the hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Now, he would say he doesn't need it. Sure you do. You just threw up a lot. No, I didn't. There is Fritz nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't... He points to the greenhouse. There's a greenhouse. If anything, here. Kim, you and threw up a lot. A <laughs> I can't phone. believe you threw you up in front of me, loser. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Ooh. All right. I gotta go get ammonia. Yeah, see, the further I go away from him, he starts to auto run. It's a big city, Kim. Bottles inside, you can pick them up if you had a bag. I need a bag. Fuck. Is there a big map? <laughs> Pay for damages. That's not gonna happen. We're gonna fail that one. Yeah, intentionally. Yeah, <laughs> we're not paying. Find smokes. Report your missing badge. You may need to report your missing badge to the 41st Precinct as soon as possible. The lieutenant said that you can use the radio in his motor car to call your station. Would I ever actually report something missing? Or would I, or should I just try to pretend I have it? Um, wait, what's the situation? Oh, I can report my missing badge. But that's oh, not my way. No, because then you'd have to admit you don't have it. And I have to admit I did wrong. Which I'll never yeah. do. These didn't. I don't even think these came up once. Oh, Visual Calculus did. But none of these other ones even came up. So the only things I get are um, I could take a lot of pain and uh, 
I see I have empathy and stuff. But I don't <laughs> logic and shit doesn't even happen. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm not gonna get any I don't have a man of logic. I follow my feelings. That's why you punched the kid. Yeah, and you deserved you deserved it. I felt good about it. Hey lady. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? Uh, you sound surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. I have questions. Of course. I need pneumonia. What can I help you with? My partner told me you may have ammonia. Can I have some? Sure. I'm done with it. Takes my capsule out of her breast pocket and hands it over to you. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. All right. Of course. Thank you. Bye. Her gloves. You get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. One more thing. Give me your gloves. <laughs> sure. Keep them. I Shit. What else can I get? Can I have your overalls? Your shoes look pretty cool. Yeah. Look all right. You know, Kim's acting all high and mighty, but he hasn't actually done anything. Yeah, he's just looked down on the stuff we did. Yeah. There he still is, looking right He's kind of lame, dude. With his white eyes, the body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. How do I use... Plus... It is all it does now. Ah, uh, I might throw up again. That's a still pretty low. The ammonia only makes it worse. <laughs> Fuck! Combination forces tears out of your guts. You manage to keep it in once. The second time, not so Fuck! Much. When the vomiting <laughs> is done, your tears are wet with tears. Kim, I don't know what to do. It stinks too much. It's, it's, it's so stinky. gross. <laughs> Kim, it's so gross. I don't think I want to be a cop anymore. The ammonia didn't help. No, does the win right now. You feel the lieutenant pat your back rhythmically. The weight is reassuring, like a crenel on solid fortification. Pat, pat, pat. I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You are facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes you're, you're difficult. right. I need to drink more to power up. If I He's were right, if I were drinking, this wouldn't be an issue. Why You're a genius, kid. I've been a cop my whole life. This is bullshit. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be a cop. Can we just do something else? I think I want to solve something else right now. <laughs> I want to do another mystery. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Clear our head. But before we can do that. He draws his hand from his back and looks in your you in the eye. You need to get your shit together. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You will get your shit together. <laughs> no. I don't nah. want to. No. I won't. I, I bet you I won't get my shit together. I'm sure this has not affected his impression of you in a good way. Doesn't matter. For a moment, the hanged man appears to smile. His lips are red like a clown's. Bitch fight, see? Bitches are at it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bitches about to kill each other, I think. We should go and do something else. Give it half an hour. Then come back when you've gotten your act together. You've gained a thought. When this dialogue <laughs> hey! is over, go to <laughs> the it. cabinet and internalize it for special bonuses and effects. Uh, your shit is apart. And is rather unbecoming of a cop and a human being. You're supposed to be the opposite of that. Together, compressed in a small area to achieve a solid. I'm internalizing. And hobo cop. Give me both. I don't know what those do right now. Now what, Kim? Any more mysteries out there? Yeah, genius. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't see you solving shit. Let's 
to solve more mysteries, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I'm... Who put these booze in front of me? <laughs> I just, what if I just drink and come back? Fuck, does Kuno care? Kuno, I keep throwing up and I can't investigate the body at all. <laughs> Help me. Yeah, like a fucking volcano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking pathetic. You were lucky you didn't die there. Uh, maybe you got some advice for me. I mean, you were obviously handling it quite well. Tell me, tell me how to be cool like you, Kuno. Yeah. Kuno's got some advice for you. The kid looks to his left to his right, then leans forward, leans towards you. What are you? you? Like, 80, right? Maybe you should stop embarrassing yourself in front of a fucking kid. Ah, he got me again. Dude. Kuno, uh, no. Punch him. Kuno, Kuno no. doesn't fucking care. <laughs> Damn. I just can't get Kuno's respect. That's all we want. This is squad car. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. Oh, this is my car? You are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. I'm gonna pull out the toolbox. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly This can't be mine. <laughs> this... Take what you need. Oh, it's his. <laughs> it's going to that makes be a long sense. case. I'm not protective of my tools, like so many. <laughs> of course, it has got to be his if they're neatly organized. He's clearly <laughs> yeah, a little is... protective of this his tools. This would be a mess. But what can you do? Work is work. I'm going to take all of it. The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Heavier than you'd think. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him Cold with a crowbar. And heavy, like truth. You feel like you're reunited with truth once more. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap, go the cutters. Can I just become like hand. a fucking psychopath? An all star, a superstar psychopath? It's robust. It's the, and well -made. the natural the path. Issue, yeah. Blue, lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. The pull -out what else can I take from here? back into its nest. Preheater gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers and the radio on its hook. Tap on the fuel preheater gauge. Run your fingers over what... The white suede feels luxurious under the touch. And the metal clutch handle so very familiar in your palm. Let me drive it. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. Do you have a license? In the large I, who's who's going to put you over? Who's asking, the officer? <laughs> is warm. Next to the gauge is a I am the law. Labeled heat. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. Alternative translation. Don't even think you can drive my MC. I'm gonna have to give her to Kim. He's been judging me. He won't let me drive his car. Yes. Um, I want to talk. Excuse me. Oh wait. Beat it! You're cramping my style. <laughs> Frankly, detective, you are in a deranged state. No. I can't let you proceed without close. You're a stalker. In fact, under normal You're the deranged circumstances, one. I'd be duty bound to report. You're crazy. Take it as a token of good faith between our prisons that I haven't done so. The lieutenant thinks you're some unaccountable wreck who needs constant supervision, but you don't have to listen to him. You're free to disobey. <gasps> Can I get away from him? If anything, we should double down and prove him Except right. that I do, <laughs> detective. Some you time? This is a police investigation. Oh, he's mind games and trick him. Discovery. You'll still have your evenings to yourself. A moment passes. The lieutenant. Okay. We're gonna get rid of Kim as well. That's a mission. It's not on this list. You might not see it in my journal, but it's up here. Wait, it's it's up here. We're getting rid of Kim. 
It's the, it's the big one. Because if we and then we're free. Him, then we get a free car. <laughs> and we're free to run around the city <laughs> and do whatever we want. Who are you? Did you murder someone? Welcome to Ivashol. Announces the Brunton man. The remark isn't addressed to you, it's addressed to the lieutenant. Why are you addressing my partner like that and not me? Dude, that guy's powerful. Don't looking. you welcome to Revachol me? My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. Yeah. Get him, Kim. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided. Making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. Okay, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Bye-bye. I'm a superstar. He's not talking to me, so that conversation doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it's completely useless. <laughs> oh, is Kim having a conversation? Whatever. No <laughs> stable body man. That issue has a top ten list. Jump jams. <laughs> How do I get music? We need a cool theme song. Kim, you must whistle my theme song wherever I go. How's the console version of this? Do you get to just run around with the stick? Yeah, probably. Probably maybe better. The only advantage I have is I get to click exactly what I want to click on. So it'll be like, so oh, this. the D-pad. Yeah. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. Uh, I want to buy. How do I get money? Kim. Steal. I must steal what more. What is what? Um, it's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, then it's only four real. She steps on the glass mm. counter, the raincoats patiently. Ah, fuck. Kim, you got any royale on you? Yeah, you got any, you want to buy this raincoat for me? Yes. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. <laughs> no response. He just arches his brow. I don't really remember anything. There was drinking involved. Have you tried concentrating <laughs> on something other than your personal affairs? I, I can't. N no. <laughs> that would take self-reflection. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I simply don't understand other people's anything. There is a sudden harsh edge to his voice, like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. Well, maybe if you listened the first time and understood. <laughs> really? You look fine to me. Okay, Focus then. Focus on other people's troubles, not your own. That is a relief. Your heart beats I lied twice to him. like a fist. The serotonin deficiency makes your teeth clench. Thank you, a wise man. The lieutenant blinks, his mouth slightly open, and his body motionless. A microsecond passes. If I piss him off, maybe he'll just go away. Excuse me. I was lecturing you. I shouldn't have. You should consult a medical professional if you feel that you need help. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's Lazareth. Should I tell them that I'm unfit to be a cop and just have free <laughs> reign to run around the city? Super hobo. What would the story be? I don't know. <laughs> This habit of dispensing wisdom has been brought to his attention before. He will not think less of you for lashing out. He is trying to curb it. See, I see we both have issues. I'm a drunk who, can't, who shouldn't even be a cop, and you sometimes and reprimand you're no people. fun to talk to. Yeah, <laughs> you're lame. <laughs> the lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. Slap him and take his money. I just punched a kid earlier. 
Oh, I could probably, yeah, but he deserved it. I could probably pawn off that the sports watch and get a raincoat. Cut me a deal. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything it's around like, the shelves. It's like fucking 25 cents. You're like, what's the cheapest I can get? <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna haggle. What's that magazine she's reading? What's that magazine? You mean this? She looks at the cover, boasting a colorful photo of two girls kissing. This is Pop Stars. It's got like famous people in it. It's not for sale. I'm something mm. of a superstar myself. <laughs> Stupid famous people. <laughs> you know, fuck you, kid. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of boring, but you know. Let's proceed. I have some questions. Are you a murderer? Um, Okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Can you tell me something about the dead body? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... Did you know the man who died? Not really. Does that mean you knew him a little? Um, oh, shit! No. I don't know him at all. How long has it been there? What do you think happened? Um, I don't know. That's exactly what a murderer would no say. No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. I like her hat. Oh, her, uh, her jester hat. I don't know really long. Uh-huh. You know what is good about this version? I only need one hand to play it. Which means my other hand could be on the bottle so I can role play. At all times. Yeah. What's going on over here? Is there a protest? How do I get money? Oh, maybe I, can, maybe I can wait. Maybe I can call my precinct and have them send me money. And then we can buy booze. Yeah, and then we can go buy we more can... booze. And then I can use then that. And we don't have to vomit. Yeah. I can power up to be my, be my best self. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and the frequency tabler lights up, and the green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then... You hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves passed <laughs> far and wide <laughs> over the metropolis. <laughs> A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? What the fuck did you... Hello, Lieutenant? Ladies. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Uh... This is the this is Firewalker copy. Come in, Delta Ten. House is off. Uh, officer from Forty First Precinct. Nice to meet you. Come in, dispatch. Uh, I'm gonna go with the coolest one because I would say the coolest thing because I'm a superstar. Because you're cool. This is Firewalker this copy. Is officer Alice Dimitri, Precinct Fifty Seven. How may I assist you? I could. Uh, she was friendly to the lieutenant. I told I need to connect to my station, the Forty First. Uh, yeah, connected my precinct. It will take just a moment, officer. Her voices fade out into the familiar radio static. <laughs> Gottlieb, what do you want? He's carelessly chewing on a piece of hard candy. I need money. I'm in a bad way, Doc. <laughs> a real bad way. I need way. money to get booze so I don't vomit. I need, I need to be stronger. Give me any money for booze. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Everyone seems to like me. They all know me. Was that a snarl or a suppressed group? I must really be a superstar. Love yeah. for you here. Very famous. Yes, it's Firewalker here. Firewalker? Oh, yes, yes you are. Just don't breeze in the general direction of your fire feet. Actually, wait. Do exactly that. Put yourself out of your misery. <laughs> Take a deep 
diaphragmatic breath in and <sighs> a glorious sight your body tired from the vastness of the visions that haunt it burning up in a flame fed by your own living breath you see it too that my body has become the last <laughs> it's become the last torch in the darkness it believes in me none of this is sarcasm I see third degree burns and a referral to a plastic surgeon whom you won't be able to afford but that's in the future do you have any current pressing medical problems I've lost my memory would I say that would a superstar admit to weakness uh, what are your other choices uh, I think I've had a heart attack. I've lost my memory. Isn't there anything you could do for me? And uh, I guess that's it for now. Hang up. Should I tell him? Well, he gave us advice to breathe. And I did that. That's all we need. All that's right, all goodbye. We need from him. <laughs> Later on. <laughs> Bye. Anything else I can help you with, officer? How do I get money? I'm done with the radio. 57, over and out. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers. A radio on a I know that stuff. Alright, shit. I need money. I wanna buy a raincoat. I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. This guy seems as cool as me. This guy seems like he has money. I am the law. <laughs> Hello. I am law. Please give money for the you sake sure of law. Are, my man. You sure? I'm absolutely from another planet. Hey there. What's going on here? It's the jam, my man. He mentions towards the sprawl of lorries with a sweeping gesture. What's the jam? It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, an all around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long-haul limbo for days upon days upon days. He glances Long south days. and down the road. Limbo, huh? So that's where I am. Cool. <laughs> Sick. Cool. <laughs> Bye. You, you you figure that problem out yourself. <laughs> I, got, I got money to worry about. I got money issues. Cool. Volumetric chip compressor. Bizarre scientific news from Revachol West today, where a police officer's shit has been observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only All at the All endurance white checks on unlocked learning not law cap for endurance raised to four. It remains to be seen how long the shit singularity lasts. What about Hobocop? Cop route. Well, then we won't get money for a hobo cop. I don't even know what any of this means yet. Dude, I'm just winging it. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. I mean, it's got you this far. It has. The beginning of the game. <laughs> so I don't see why we should stop. I mean, Kim respects me. Yeah. That kid respects me. Well, yeah, we punched him. I'm, a damn, I'm a damn this. good cop. Goddamn hero. Horseback Monument. An old monument stands in the middle of, the <clears throat> of Traffic Island, pointing towards the sea. It looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece, secure and mounted, secured and mounted to the air with the aid of numerous ropes. And who is this? Silver plaque on the statue pedestal reads, "I am Felipe III, <laughs> or, the, or the third. The squanderer, the greatest of the Philipp of Philippinian <laughs> kings of Revitrol, son of Felipe II, the opulent, and father of Felipe IV, the insane. Not a good track record of mental health in that family. Who are you? small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands, and there is a warm smile on her face. 
It's the warmth of a winter night's fire. Maybe she could give you comfort and shelter. Some cigarettes and food money. Food money? Maybe she's your... We can use that to buy a raincoat. Grandma. Nothing. Her smile just keeps widening. Her hair is gray like lead. No, this one is a monster in disguise. Fighter. <laughs> Punch Grandma. Punch Grandma. Protect the civilians. For society, we're heroes. Excuse me, ma'am. I'd like to ask no you some questions. Response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach her. Snap your fingers in front of her face. Wait. When you, the lieutenant cop stops you before you can snap. What is it, Kim? She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. Why? Why? <laughs> I just why? Why? why would I do that? If you say so. Kim, you on her side. We'll She's, be back later, old lady. <laughs> you have money for a raincoat. And I want it. God, Kim's such a fucking killjoy. I know, he's wet blanket. Oh. Don't hassle the civilians. Whatever, <laughs> dude. Scott? Ask a man with jolly eyes tilting his head. What did he just call you? A oh no, not this again. You just got away from that fucking kid. Uh, Punch him out of a reflex. <laughs> I must. Anyway, what is a scab? Yeah, I'm look I'm a scab pouring downtrodden. Wave your fist right to work. Alright, what do I do? Do I fight him? Out of reflex. I'm gonna wave my fist. Good one, officer. Don't worry. We here have solidarity with the RCM. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> Speaking of, what brings the RCM here? To the wild north come to see the strife i don't even know why i'm here i'm a bit short on money right now can you give me some of it <laughs> sure thing my friend <gasps> I'll help you out he flips a coin towards you can i catch it can i look cool do look cool <laughs> superstar would do it the coin never Fuck. Fuck. by you <laughs> he looks like an idiot <laughs> oh i know i can't do anything right oh i'm sorry didn't mean to throw it like that. It's a thing we harbor folk do. Passing it's okay. He admitted it was his fault. Yeah. So we're was still good. This provocation or ridicule. Lieutenant Kitsuragi picks up the coin and hands it to you. I won't. Th I say nothing. <laughs> right. Always glad to help out the RCM. We're on the same branch, you and I. Humans, I mean, not slithering scabs. I need to know what's behind the gates. I'm exploring. <laughs> My friend, I it's pretty. The, right to the writing's really good. The open it knows what I'm doing. Awaits. I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a granter of passage. The passage grants itself. I walk right past Measurehead and go in. Past Measurehead? Yeah, the two and a half meter tall Semini Supremus is there. Walk right past him. Then press the button to unlock the door, then go past him again, and you enter the arbor through the office. Está. Uh, he's... Uh, my options are, hmm, for some reason, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that easy. I think it's going to be incredibly easy. I'm going to do exactly what he just said. I'm going to walk up, I'm just going to try to hit the button and leave. Yeah, what would stop you? Yeah, is that guy going to stop me? Good luck. He's catch these hands. Does he know who I am? An alcoholic. <laughs> Coastal breeze. I'm numb. His hair. You can't take me down. What's this strike about? You know, serious business. I'm sure the big boss will be glad to tell you. You'll have to ask him first. Big boss. Big boss? Big boss. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike. Return once you've met the union boss and are on a better footing with the organization. Nice talk. Gotta get moving. Alright, let's go try to open this door. Man, there's a door locked. 
Is this all? Am I doing all this so that I can not throw up when I look at a corpse? This is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Would none of this have happened if you just didn't throw up? Made your stats good enough to not vomit? All right. All right. We're not going to have a problem, are we? If I just squeeze by you. Just, just squeeze by you. Sir, you're very huge. Can you please? Maybe me talk to me? him. Maybe we can outsmart him. Oh yes, <laughs> of course. Your buddy betrays your degeneracy. Yeah, Measurehead. His body totally betrays his degeneracy. I have no argument. This is 100% the truth. <laughs> so I'm an alcoholic <laughs> after all. <laughs> Don't say anything. Size him up first. Punch uh, him immediately. Say nothing, size him up. What do you mean my body to praise my ginger? I think I know exactly. I think he's right. My body is unimportant. I'm with the police. Uh, I'm going to size him up. Are you admiring my morphophysiology? Oh, shit. A ripple of muscle passes underneath his skin. He lets you look. It must be frightening to stand in the shadow of this racial pinnacle. Be calm, I'm sandwich. You are not in danger because you are not a threat to That sounds me. like an insult. I don't know if he even said words, but I'm not going <laughs> to respect him. I will, I will ripple my beer gut at him <laughs> and show him how much of a man I am. I'm gonna throw I will poke it and watch the wave effect. <laughs> and then throw up on his shoes. Puff out your chest. Still say nothing. Right, I'll be right back. Alright. What is this androgynous display of sexual maturity? He looks down at you, taking stock of your physique. Merely standing up makes you sweat profusely. <laughs> oh shit. Is erratic. Your own oh no. All the alcohol is catching up. Feel your blood pressure rise. Stop it. You are embarrassing yourself in front of this woman and your pedomorphic friend. <coughs> you call him a pedo? This display of weakness may appeal to older women with a stronger maternal instinct, but it is a liability here on Battlefield Martinez. Jean look, his body is betraying his degeneracy pretty hard. No, it's not. Maybe you can ask him to <laughs> Stop leave. saying that. Just because my beer gut's huge, my body does not betray my degeneracy. I'm way more of a degenerate in my brain than you even realize. You have succumbed to Al Ghul. Al Ghul, is that alcohol? His face contorts in disgust as if he were smelling a dead rat. You reek of it. Uh -oh. An invisible sword of Alhul emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. Do you guys see it? It is making the woman in my company sick. Do you guys see the sword of Alhul? Whoa. <laughs> uh. Smell your breath. Kim, is it really so bad? You're right. I'm an alcoholic. Now I need to enter the harbor. <laughs> no, you don't. You need to get another drink. Occidental Aplo Group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence of the ham sandwich rays is waning. Show him the ham still got it. Uh... Race of the important year. I just need you to help me do my job, please. Actually, I think the ham sandwich race is still has it in him. My ham sandwich is strong. Really calling yourself a ham sandwich. How far the Occidental Ablo group has fallen. You were <laughs> once a noble and powerful race. You gave the world eugenics, electricity and powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, oh, race theory, and statecraft. 
you dominated lesser cultures like the deformed Hemians and the inexplicably How's he outsmarting going? But now he's blaming me he's blaming me <laughs> for a lot <laughs> you are obsessed with sadness and with frivolous pop culture you will be superseded he's beat me in strength right and brains I have nothing but beer muscles it is baby yeah you know it there is a button right behind him just out of reach you think I could just trick him by being like look over there <laughs> like a he can speak all this but he gets outsmarted by uh what's that <laughs> hey look over there Uh, you're right about all that. <laughs> I just need to like, let you let me go to the harbor. Push him out of the way. That's not going to happen, right? Come on, I just need you to move about 20 centimeters back. I think I could. I think I will say you're right about all that, but let me go anyway. Enough with this begging. You should leave the stage of history with dignity by inviting the other races to a great world war. Bring your troops to the Seminine Islands and to Boogie Street and we will pulverize you. I don't want to have a race war. I just want to open up the harbor door and drink. The walls will be lined with bottles of al Ghul, your beloved beverage. Inside, we will store the oats to homosexuality you call art, and your microcephalic skulls. This is your chance. He's talking. Rip into him with a punch and catch him. <laughs> Oh shit, should I do it? <laughs> no, don't rip into anyone. You're sensitive. Remember, communicate. Should I rip and tear? <laughs> All right. Hmm. Should I subscribe to his advanced race theory <laughs> or fight him? <laughs> These are pretty, pretty crazy idea uh, options. You serve the unions, aren't they white? What are those tattoos? Are yours? Should I vote for this? All right. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we have a race war? Should I just fight him? <laughs> um, Hmm. Well, we were told maybe this isn't the smartest choice. Maybe hitting him would be really bad. <laughs> I'm not tough. I don't know. I saw you punch that kid. I did punch that kid that was smaller than me. I forgot one of the options was I could just hit people. I, I should have been that one, too. What would a superstar do? I don't think any of these, really. What are those tattoos of yours supposed to mean? I can throw them off. He's super into race. Would calling out would say that his union people are white? Fuck with him? Enough for me to fucking just push the button? Not smart. Our intelligence is one, but Punch him in the taint. <laughs> I'm not gonna I can't hit him. I gotta my chances are so low. But they're still there. <laughs> but they are still there. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna point out his tattoos and, and confuse him. Your tattoos are stupid. Are generally not very good examples of their race. I am not like them. I am craniometric perfection. I have taken the trouble to permanently draw a phrenologic grid on my skull and features. This should dispel any doubt. What should I do? What should I say? <laughs> I don't know, intense. I didn't expect to be smart. This dude's intense. And educated. I'll just say nothing. Your silence betrays your inferiority. I don't care. Just let me push the button. Reply. 
you should enter a deep race, Lumber. Perhaps in 4,000 years, there is need for a servile homunculus. <laughs> I don't want to... I just want to push the buttons. I don't give a shit about races but push the button. Let me push a button. Why has he got to be standing in front of it? What an asshole. Should I just start talking about race theory with this dude? Here we go. We're going down the rabbit hole. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. One Intelligence. <laughs> Classification is that makes me... Measurehead, I'm new to this world. Help me understand what... It's understand its races. I need to know more of what kind of different races are there. Here we go. This is... <laughs> we're going down the rabbit hole, Twitch. This is the game. I don't subscribe to any of this. Do you? The lieutenant looks at you. <laughs> I'm just fucking. I don't. Uh, this is for the thing. Second thought, I don't relinquish the opportunity to learn advanced race theory. I don't know if I want to actually have this conversation. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. This is for the thing. It's for. Uh, just let me fucking hit the button. You are obviously a liberal, Sam. A polyculturalist. I can see it from your love of microtechnology and your sartorial choices. Do not deny your friend the truth you have denied yourself. Do we have any piece of tech on us at all? No, I want to just like tase him and then push the button. There are three categories of race. Tip A, the heroic races. Tip B, the servile races. And the vile we can't win a taint punch, though. <laughs> He's, look how big he is. His taint has more Which muscles in it than my arm. What is a type A race, sir? Those are Can you step back now? The and the are we friends? Can you push the button for me? <laughs> how many times are you going to nod until you fucking step the backwards? Are riddled with eczema. To the point where they find it impossible to smile. They are all lactose intolerant, a common result of inbreeding. Ah, yes. They recede in genetic pool. Inbreeding, you piqued my interest. Absolutely. Friends. Now, can I hit the button? In mound cities like Stats Canal and Fredefort. Wearing wooden clogs. Does he have this speech for everybody? <laughs> Sir, do you want to hear about ready. my race theories? But well, that's just a theory. That's <laughs> no race theory. Okay, I got it. Who are Push the type the in your view? The Vespertines and Messimians of Vesper and Messina. The ancient Meteorans of Mateo by uh, this game. So you like good what if you're AB, A positive? And even the North AB. <laughs> oh. All have I'm B O O. Z. I'm not even paying attention to what he's saying. I don't think the you should. Your intelligence is one. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention. If anything, you're, you're committing to the role. They are violent and expansionist, but they have a glandular problem. Overproduction of sebum. This is gonna be like the final boss is gonna be like, what is the, making them listen. What is the type A type of this race? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I just wanted the butt pushed. In turn, only produces more sebum. Purdue, that's a brand of chicken. Pretty pricey though. Can you push the button now, sir? <laughs> oh my God. Occidental tip A is. He talks so slow, way. too. The Simonese and the Ariopashi. Ah, yes! The Simonese. Can you please step back? That's like using. It's using like or as, right? A Simonese? A Simonese, yeah. <laughs> and the Metaphorians. Understood. You know, we're not too different, you and I. We both <laughs> like the color red, we both like buttons, and we both like seeing what happens when you push them. <laughs> What's the difference between. <laughs> the Simonese and the Ario Pagides. <laughs> what the fuck? Pagites? I'm afraid to say that. I don't even know what the 
<laughs> Am I gonna get banned for saying that? I don't know. Are you saying a, a slur? I don't know. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed. <laughs> Enlighten me. Step back, please. Indubitably. The menis are powerful. Mesomorphic. The former is an immutable progenitor. Dude, he loves talking about race. Holy shit, let me push the button. He's obsessed. Cool. <laughs> cool story, bro. Cool. Dude, if you could just say cool there. I don't know. That's me. That would have been amazing. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Very cool. Now let me push the fucking button. There are no more deep arrays in the world. Ah, yes. <laughs> Nature was not capable of... And that's a bad thing, right? Right? <laughs> Vile C! Through F-Race, cauldron of pederasty. <laughs> Please. You need to know both teams A and B to understand... <laughs> oh, my God. ...the reckless genetic abandonment in the Oh, my people. God. Yeah. You have to have context, you know. Ah, uh, okay. Tell me about type B Deep races. B are the unmeoric races, amorphous non-competitors of the great race. The Koigos and the Vacholier, they are mud-colored. To an untrained eye, the Koigo appear white and pinkish, like a hand of witch. That's me! Look into their eyes and you can see I'm a ham sandwich. They are of an indistinct muddy color, and so is their skin. Unhealthy, sweaty, and ashen. What about boozy? What Pinkness about the breath? <laughs> what about smelly and reeking of, of liquor? I'm sweaty. <laughs> I'm greasy. What? Oh no. The glad people have undergone for drinking a whole and smoking the degenerate tobacco. I'm a degenerate. Oh no. I love eating potato. <laughs> <laughs> the Koiko, the countless micronationalities of Grad. Holy are all shit. <laughs> obsessed with Bodat. The only thing they like more. I feel like I've been in this conversation for a fucking hour. Ethnostates, like political amoeba. They're Basholians. Amoeba. <laughs> amoeba. <laughs> Two makes to no right from wrong. You tried your degenerate little revolution, which was the single greatest failure committed by humans in our 82,000 year history on this planet. Ah, yes. Tips is an F R Indeed. museum of fame. Chimeric experiments and tragic maladaptations. They are tortured creatures waiting to be put to sleep. Said Your creatures weird. Interest in them worries me. Yep, better not go into it. It would be <sighs> well to entertain ourselves with their deformities. Were there any able bodied races you needed to do? Nope, I'm all caught up on race, buddy. Alright, can I get the button now? <laughs> Solve the great. <laughs> I must go oh over my God. It again. <laughs> Solve my You're race, my race cube, to earn my trust. And you can solve. I don't know what you want from me. sides must be the same race. <laughs> Do not mix the squares on the Rubik's cube. <laughs> okay, I got it. Thank you. Cool. Can you just push the <laughs> I just want to push the button. Will you let me into the harbor if I do? Can I, can, I, can I solve the fucking race mystery? We will see. Oh my god, I didn't pay attention to any of that. Investigation. But there may be another way. Without becoming a race theoretician. No, no, Kim. Am I mild? <laughs> I guess <laughs> this is the way I have to go. Things. Yes, I am. He concludes. I am. Fine, we'll do it. I don't even. I didn't pay attention to anything he fucking said, so we'll decline. Lost, don't buckle the way. This dude the is too is. intense. This is why your opera group will never rise from the ashes. Now, I need to luxuriate in the private company of my babe. Leave me. 
Okay. I cannot possibly imagine. <laughs> You're gonna tell me that twice, god damn. Holy shit. Never talk to that dude, he fucking won't shut up. He's obsessed. Called me a ham sandwich. I think he said Kim was a pedo ass. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's dense. <laughs> Is there any other way in this fucking through this thing? Bastards! We have a right to work. The man yelled towards the harbor gates. His voice is the loudest of the lot and oddly screechy for a man of his size. I am the law! <laughs> Hold up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. I like how stilted he talks. You. There is a full head taller than everyone else. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. Am I here to fuck with him? No. Do you have any money, though? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just wondering. I just want to go through. We need to buy Good. booze. We're fighting for a cause here. Right I just want to the game. work. Right to work. Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. I'll keep Those talking conflicts. politely if you cough up some dough. Give me money. Uh, what kind of cause are we talking about? Rights of people, rights of workers, to have gainful employment, to make a salary, and feed their families. Okay. Can I go I look like a salary? <laughs> Can I have a salary now? Maybe you should ask them the questions, like, why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame on you! Oh, Dude, last guy I talked to gave me a whole spiel. I don't want to get into oh it. Oh my god. I just want to go through the gate. So do we, Scott. The loitering man hall. Oh, it's that guy. He's my friend. He gave us money. Uh, you don't have any tips on how to punch a guy out, do you? Say a really big race theorist guarding the button. Not before you get in there and get your ass whooped. Learn by failure, I always say. Let him punch me? He might have some advice, but you've got to at least try to fight Measure Head first. Return if you oh. fail. I gotta get my ass beat? Listen, I already took a hit today when I <laughs> tripped over an old lady. <laughs> I've got you passed out. Alright, I'm gonna go punch uh, Measure Head. Was the answer always just punch him in the taint? This whole time? Oh, I don't have time for it. That's a, that's a lot. No, Chelsea was showing me something. I guess if you go down the rabbit hole of that race theorist guy, it's like an hour. How long? Uh, oh, if it's you like an like hour and 40 minutes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. There's a time thing. Oh, I'm on a time limit. <laughs> Oops. Wait, you are? Oh, to solve it? Or just in general? Like, look, it's 10.59. Uh-oh. I don't have a place to sleep tonight. You can become a racist and it'll let you pass. I don't have time for that. I'm going to fight him. <laughs> it seems faster. I like that there's a, a, a solution a in this game is to become a racist. <laughs> for your own game. Together, decide to Honest work for other people. Beats me. They mumble nonsense about boardrooms and workers' rights, while we have the right to work! When the man moves around, you perceive some serious abs underneath his tight fitting shirt. This man is in shape. It's a weird observation. Uh, how come you're so built? <laughs> Is one of the questions. I work hard, and I would work even harder if the fuckers would let us work. I want to get into the harbor too. <laughs> Union shits are on full strike. Don't think they're going to let you through the gates. 
I'm trying to meet that fat boss. I just went through the gate. Because I throw up when I look at dead bodies. I'm interviewing people uh, about a murder that took place behind the... Yeah. I know nothing about a murder. The mention of a killing sends a barely noticeable shiver of tenseness through him. Interesting. Oh, absolutely nothing. Wouldn't put it past these harbor bugs. They'd do anything to stay alive. Right to work! You again? It's shameful. Cops doing nothing. You should bring back up, open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. I just... I just went through the gate. Just leave me alone. Uh... Sure, why not? Why not? I see numerous reasons not to pick a side in this local matter. Shut up, Kim. Pity. Let us work! We were promised work. We'd be in there, working, if the bad. Yeah, my choice is to become a racist or join the strike. I'd probably choose to join the strike over becoming a racist. I guess That's I could just fair. fight the guy. But he'll beat me up. I am but a simple ham sandwich. Main gate's locked. We'll take heavy ordinance to bust it open could try to get in through the secretary's office <gasps> doors locked the guards blocking the way to the access panel and i don't mean the scrawny mess punk either i mean head measurer or whatever he is have you considered storming in why don't you go arrest them instead i'm sure they've done plenty of criminal shit they it's gonna have be tough that. to do without a badge. It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home, at least for now, if you can't get in anyway. No! They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then, <gasps> charge. That's my power! We can get drunk together, and the button will become unguarded. Now we're speaking my kind of tactic. Alright, I'm gonna go punch Measure head in the face. <laughs> Wish me luck, boys! Racist rule! Workers rule! Can I pick locks? I just have gloves. Alright. Your day has come, Measure Head. Descent has only worse You're a scrawny bitch! The last Fuck you! you. Really let yourself go. Damn it! <laughs> How did this happen? Your little <laughs> fist is in his giant hand, and he's squeezing it. It hurts. You must be out of your mind, degenerate drunk. <laughs> Didn't work at all. Say it. I am a degenerate alcoholic. No, I can't admit. Fuck you, I'm a cop. <laughs> your fist cracks in his hand. Ow. Like right apple. Pain shoots up into your brain as he's twisting it. More I'm a superstar. <laughs> the words to the song have changed. Say, I am a violent drunk. If you kill me, I win. Because <laughs> you'll go to jail. You <laughs> buffoon, what are you going to do? Break my uh, what would I do? Would I say, would I give in? Or would I say, no, I fucking won't say anything? He did, does he know who you are? All right, you Why guys should choose. you admit faults? What is this button? I am a violent drunk. Should I just give in? No. Double down. Nope. What's he going to do? Break your wrist? No, me. <sighs> See, now you look like a weak bitch. It's fine. I have drugs to make me feel better about my choices. Fuck you. I'm aroused right back drugs. up. <laughs> drugs. What do you think, Kim? 
I'd appreciate it if you didn't force us into situations where I may have to shoot random civilians. Because that won't get us anywhere. That was a solution the you whole time? You could've shot him the whole time and you let him kick my ass, Kim? Whose side I are you on? We're friends. One bullet in my chamber holes would even prick that hook. Oh, okay, fair. I was trying to assert my dominance over him. <laughs> I was trying to show him. But I was fighting bad and savory ideologies. I'm a hero. We are not here on some political quest. We are here to solve a crime. Don't make the situation any more volatile than it already is. Just call me a hero. Call me a superstar. Kim, give me any kind of acknowledgement. Kim, I thought we were friends. We were tight. I can't promise that. I might attack him again. The lieutenant groans, but <laughs> doesn't say anything. I got a train. That's right. You should do it again. It's the last thing you'll be expecting. He never ex I gotta train quick. He never ex expect me to punch him a second time. It's the perfect plan. What does punch him but smarter? Yeah. Oh, it's starting to rain. Teach me how to fight. Nice aggression with the native. Don't let the chief fool you time. You don't need to be that up in his face. Leave yourself space to move. Not bad advice, actually. This might do the trick. Let's talk about our right to work. I need you to be my champion against Jean-Luc. No. I'm not a fighter. I'm a worker. What the fuck? You're way bigger than me. All right. Don't ever expect you to punch him again. Let's go. Come on, Kim. Superstar. No fear. Let's do it. What's that over there? What are my chances? Your race descent has only worsened since I last saw you. You have really let Shut up. yourself. Shut up. Fuck go. you. <laughs> punch again. <laughs> Throw punch. I'm learning. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Not Inside. bad for a drunk. <laughs> a solid strike straight into his throat, into the cartilage. You could swear you felt the soft palate break. The man is reeling, gasping for air. Time stands still around you. In the distance, the sounds of the harbor are falling silent. All you hear is a small gurgling sound as a trickle of blood appears on the man's lip. He's open, rip into him, right hook, escalated. Get before, into Back up and form a 360 Bring flying spin kick? Closer. Okay. Kick his ass. All right, should I continue to kick his ass? Should I perform <laughs> the 360 flying spin kick? Did he learn his lesson? <laughs> I think I should. He might block me. We though. know the answer. It's 360 flying spin kick. There you go. Yeah, you're a superstar. <laughs> superstar! Watch this, Kim! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> That's fucking right. Lands <laughs> dull thump, like a broken down puppet of muscles and sinew. For a moment, he still tries to keep his head up, dazed eyes looking at you. With unimaginable he yelled surprise. Disco Inferno and press the button. Is the button. <laughs> <laughs> Superstar! <laughs> Superstar! Entirely, his head rolling to the side. Looks like you're the new measurehead now. That's right. Her voice. <laughs> now, do you want to hear about race? <laughs> no one is the new measurehead. But Kim, I was gonna be their king. I took the throne. Yeah. I did the 360 spin kick. Kim, he wasn't even that impressed with that. Do it. Yeah, if Kim would have did it, he would have talked about how cool it was, and that was the perfect move. I opened the door for everybody. Went native on the chief, huh? Those ballerina antics were reckless. Should have just punched him in the throat again. 
Everybody is a fucking. You did the right thing. Yes. The ballerina antics won you the fight. Let's talk about our right to work. Just wanted to brag. All right. Okay, I got a level with you, guy. Now that we kicked Measurehead's ass, I don't want to. I don't care about your working condition. I, I have the Measurehead now. It was all a ruse. I just want to spin kick people. Wait, he got back up? And the door's not open? Did I not push the button? Did you not push the button? I said he held Disco Inferno and pushed the button. Wait. <laughs> Do you think he'd get, fall for the throat punch again? I think he'll fall for the spin kick. <laughs> Measure head. I'm here to apologize. I just want to push the button. <laughs> Measure head. I forgot to push the button, I think. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, man. No, it's a... It's a green button now. I'm not presume this has drastically altered our race dynamic. I knocked you out like a god of martial arts. True. I said nothing about our personal dynamic. He respects me. That for kicking altered. his ass. A little. He means very little. Oh, he's. <laughs> Seems to be talking a lot of shit. He has quite an ego for a guy that was on the ground or just a little bit ago. <laughs> you literally got spin kicked. <laughs> All right. I guess I did nothing. Is this the door? Oh, that was the door I opened. Dude, I don't even know why I'm over here. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm a steal shit. Don't look, Kim. I don't know how this is going to help me solve the murder, but here I am. Ooh, coffee. Radio is emitting a strange buzzing sound. Man, I gotta, I'm gonna have to reinstall this onto my SSD. Takes too long. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. There is a white rectangle clearly visible on its back. This is your cloak. <laughs> you can feel it. I don't know how this got here. <laughs> Whoa. Lieutenant, I think that's mine. Yes. It does bear the RCM insignia, and we are the only detectives in Martinez. You think I should get the it? service cloak issued to you by your station? Yes, yes I do. As your fingers touch the tarpaulin, it almost feels like the cloak wants to deliver a message of comfort through your fingertips. I will shield you from the elements and give my life for yours. That's what the cloak is relaying. Cool. I'll put it on. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna act like a coat. Oh, shit! Now I'm gonna get some respect around here. Everyone's calling me a drunk. How dare they point out what they're looking at? How dare they notice? Not anymore. Collecting rainwater. All around you, great machine. Squinness? I don't even know what that is. I've never even seen that word. I won't embarrass myself by reading it out loud incorrectly. Like a superstar would. Yeah. Say dodge nothing the, and they won't know. Dodge the heat. Sophisticated industrial lettering on the platform. Kvalsund? Oh, big butt. I'll take it. I can sell that. Healing item. Fuck yeah. Learn nothing from my mistakes. It's only paid off. It's only paid off. <laughs> it absolutely has. I wonder if it's because you basically said you'd act like an asshole, so you acting like one actually benefits yeah. the game. If I could continue to commit, 
There has to be a path to the end of the game, right? I'm gonna steal again, Kim. Don't judge me. But I wanna buy a raincoat. <laughs> Better section of the way of the rain and snow. White waves on red. This guy has no voice. Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, put the logos on. Container, container, oh. used to be well pines. Container, container, now belongs to Everard. The tiny man is so engaged in his work, he doesn't notice you. Hi! Everard, 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 he looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. How can I help you, mister? The look in his deep blue eyes is as sincere as you've ever seen. Kind of makes you feel like an arsehole for no apparent reason. I see you are not a union man, mister. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? Uh... What is it with you people and scabs? Yes, I am. I mean, I don't personally mind. Folks is just folks, you know. And folks gotta eat. He doesn't seem to be waiting for you to answer. Just because the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. He doesn't have a voiceover, so I'm assuming he's not important. Where is everyone? The hire is empty. Do you work here? Don't treat him with any respect then. I'm off. I, voice I only actor. talk to people with voice actors. Because just like our character, Matt can't read. Not ever, not once. I don't know how this is going to help me solve the crime yet. Still coffee everywhere. Cool. Who the fuck is this guy? This guy murdered. I'm calling it now. Hold on, I'm going to look around his room quick. Taxidermy fish that tells time. Very cool. He has good taste. He's the only thing in this room. Before you is a walrus of a man seated behind a large desk. Ah, he looks, uh, he looks disgusting. I'm gonna punch him and spin kick him. <laughs> it solved all my problems so far. With great effort, he straightens himself up in his chair, yet says nothing. He simply stares at you. A typical power play. Wait for him to speak first. Show him you've got a back. <laughs> you can just stare at each other. <laughs> you speak first. I ain't the talking first. The eye of this man fills you up without even flickering. The other, his lazy eye, is constantly moving like a goldfish in a tank, grotesquely magnified by his plus six glasses. For a moment, you don't know where to look. It is unbearably humid in the trailer. Beads of sweat slide down. The I'm gonna keep staring. Head. <laughs> Why first, budge? Nothing happens. His face wears a wide. I'm gonna make him break. Smile. I could stay here Every all day. Then, he smacks his big lips. Like a general over his maps, he plots his moves. Judging by the way he's licking his chops, it's going to be a good one. Sam. Boom, he broke. He begins to speak, albeit slowly, purposely leaving a pause after his opener. Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsuragi. How nice that you found a moment to pay a visit to the Debardeurs Union. Is that I'm my name? Everard Claire. The Head boys? <laughs> here. Yeah, it's for the boys. The boys. Them boys. Please, have a seat. Oh, he's going to make me sit in a little chair like a fucking baby. The folding chair looks like a torture device. Extremely This is all part of his game. This is all a power play. You go ahead, detective. Whatever he has in store for you, it can't be good, he thinks. I'll do my best. Forget about that. What's with this Dubois stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that name. Uh, I'd rather stand, right? That's better than sitting, because he told me to do stand that. Stand on your tippy toes. So you're above <laughs> be him. taller than him at all costs. I'll stand on the chair. Please, Mr. Dubois. Let us converse in a civilized manner, as equals. 
Take a seat. I can't I bend it. Put the chair. Put the chair on his table and then <laughs> and sit, on, sit the on it above him. <laughs> He's trying to. I'm gonna sit on his lap. <laughs> with this Dubois nonsense, don't give him the pleasure. I don't sit. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. <laughs> I never Very sit. Very well, Mr. Dubois. I respect a man with strong God convictions. Goddamn right. I too have convictions. One of which is that I will not engage with any man who won't face me at eye level. Oh, good move. Should you find yourself more amenable in the future, I'd gladly resume our conversation. But until then, I'm afraid I must ask you to leave. Damn, that's a nasty play. He's got you. A titan of volition in a fork. Guess you just have to sit. Ooh, if I sit now, I look even weaker. Uh, I have to, though, to continue the conversation. Just bend your knees a little bit. <laughs> I'll never actually sit all the way down. I'll be in, like, a uh, horse rider pose and float above the seat. Yeah. Just very, very, very like, a centimeter I above him. you're a reasonable man, and reasonable men, reasonable men can be of great use to one another. Hmm. He seems very nice. Remain serious. Try to wink back. He winked at me. Damn, this chair is uncomfortable. What would a superstar do? Would he wink back? <laughs> like he, he would absolutely wink back. He'd wink with both eyes, but at so different tell intervals. Me, how can the head of the Dubai Otherwise, just Union blinking. Help a representative of the Rebel Citizens wink. Militia today. The chair you're sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable. I took chair damage. In the world. <laughs> it's violating your backside. No, it's getting to you. No. Oh, uh, by the way, I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain. <laughs> I just Lawrence pass Gart. out from the Some pain of the chair. No it hurts so much. <laughs> Put nails in it. Uh, some people have no manners. It pains me to say. This should take care of that nonsense. He points to a giant novelty check on his desk. It's absolutely comically huge. It should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with a cafeteria manager. Go ahead, take it. Hey, that's 25 real. That's good money. Think of all the stuff you could. <sighs> okay. Would a superstar just take the money <laughs> immediately and not even ask questions? I think you would, right? Uh, yeah, that sounds like a future That's a lot of booze. problem if it <laughs> bites your ass. Actually, it's not even a lot of money. But. But money is money. You could take that comment and shove it up your ass? No. Well, could you. Could you I could still like take it. I feel like a superstar would try to get more. That's a big check, though. <laughs> What if I just take it, and then I'm still an asshole to him? That's a superstar move. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Money doesn't earn his respect. It just earns me or... having money. Got it. Yeah, I don't actually respect this man anymore. I'll just take his money, though. No. Is there anything you'd like to say to me? No. <laughs> cool. I wouldn't go that far. I'm sure there are cooler things than delivering a comically oversized novelty check to a cafeteria manager. But, sure, if that's what's cool nowadays. Now, I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. Your lost gun. Let me assure you, union people are on it as we speak. I've got my best hounds looking for that lost gun. I have a gun? His slug-like lips move, but all you hear is an echo. Lost gun. Lost Shit. gun. Lost gun. Dude, he's lit it. it this game knows you. <laughs> it's all your brain jumped to. <laughs> all I thought about was the gun. The world is swallowed by a black hole of fear. Only two words escape its gravitational pull. Lost and gun. Oh, God. Why didn't you think of this before? Cops have guns. Where's yours? 
<laughs> this doesn't worry me at all. Who cares if I've lost my gun and the love of my life? <laughs> yeah. Fuck love. <laughs> this is your gun. This is serious. You don't need a gun. We can still have fun without the gun. The fun doesn't need to stop. Have some right now. Are you all right, Harry? You seem anxious. Don't be. Everything's going to be all right. It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own mouths. It's in a safe place. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's going to be all right. Uh, I can't beat that. That's 3%. The chair's killing you. The gun was a surprise. You didn't say thanks for it. The novelty check. So my, oh, okay. So all of these, like if I, okay, this is actually really interesting. If I didn't take the check, I'd actually have a better, like if I didn't submit to the bribe, basically, I'd have a better chance of nailing this roll. Um, and if I wasn't sitting on a shitty chair, <laughs> I would also have a better chance of handling this roll. So I guess if I'd replay this, I would know some of the things that I can do to make this to not have to submit to him right now, because he kind of won. Yeah. Officer, we will deal with this later. It's well, you are one intelligent, so it's this. fair that you would be <laughs> outsmarted. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't be so sure about that. All right. I'll try to remain. If I nail this, I am truly a superstar. Who does this Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. That was a three percent chance. Or forgotten Holy shit! You're the bad cop. You guys are right. <laughs> it's the most impressive thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Pays off to be stupid. <laughs> yeah. You learn nothing. I once again. <laughs> once again, I float through life like a superstar. I don't give a shit. You can keep my gun. Fuck yeah. Remember when you tried the expression on that little minx in the silver jumpsuit? That was you. <laughs> Try it on Everard. Give him the expression. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> Sink deep into the folding chair, smile and cross your hands behind your back. Alright, should I give him the fuck me eyes? Or should I uh, lean back in Catch the shitty chair? Guard. <laughs> Power play. The fat man seems to be enjoying your rigor mortis grin. He shoots one just like it right back at you. His is least less Good. power. Less now powerful lean in with some corruption. Listen, Ivart Pal, we both know what makes the wheels of the world turn. <laughs> that we do, Harry. Let them say what they will about you and me. We're both born fighters. This fighter could have used a more comfortable chair. Uh, nice bit with the chair. Oh, I'm going to call him out for the chair because I know what he's up to. I was in on this the whole time. Yeah, you you did the 3% check. Yeah. I, you I can just, do anything. I can do anything. We're friends now. I can get... <laughs> Why? Thank you. It's always nice when a fellow professional appreciates your work. That's it. Now kick back and add a final flourish for dignity. There, we both know why I'm here to help grow your horde. Thanks for hospitality. Feel free to visit me down at the station anytime. This is a warm layer. We both know why I'm here to help grow your horde. I don't want to help this guy. I'm not saying I'm corrupt, I'm rational. Uh, this is the coolest sounding one. Thanks for the hospitality, wink. You strike me as a reasonable man, Harry. <laughs> I like that in a law man. How am I Let's making it through this? <laughs> what can Everard Clare do for you? Learn nothing. <laughs> Fight forever. I think we'd like to ask you a few questions. Don't you think so, Detective? Lieutenant looks quite fed up with the situation. I've outclassed him by <laughs> doing nothing yet again. 
This game seems designed for you. Yeah, this is great. Will show him who's boss. Uh, aren't you gonna ask me how I got in? Am I going to ask? Hell, Harry, you spin kicked my strongest <laughs> man. Fucking in the face. goddamn right. I saw it from my window. <laughs> you goddamn Would right, you I did. Ask a man like that how he got into your container yard. I understand. I'm a terrifying death machine. Don't even know how I was able to do that. I too know I'm awesome. Thank yes, you. <laughs> I am the Don't greatest. Don't worry, Harry. Between you and me, I'm not a huge fan of his racing, but the union did not get where we are today by frowning on eccentricity. Anyway, I assure you, I am a very well-informed man. Information reaches me before I even get the chance to request it. Uh, so can I talk about the, I'll talk about the dead guy. This is it. Actually, my gun. Yes, your lost gun. My best men are on it. They're turning every stone, searching every playground, asking kids, grandmas, everyone. Your gun will be found, Harry. Let me assure you of that. It's just a matter of time and effort. The only way to find it seems to be working with him. He might even be holding your gun hostage. I should spin kick him. Get my gun out of him. Hold on, I'm really, really holding my, oh my gun hostage. I will not be blackmailed with this gun business. I don't care about my gun. Keep it. I am a weapon. I did spin kick a guy. Yeah, we're really strong. How bad? I, oh, dude. I'm gonna. You know what? Fuck it. I don't even give a shit about my gun. It's not even loaded. We clearly coasted just fine. Yeah. I don't care about my gun. I love it, Harry. Wish I could be like that, but I can't. I have a responsibility to this community. I can't have a loaded gun out in the streets. The officer is exaggerating. Of course we care about the missing firearm, and we are actively looking for it as well. The lieutenant is concerned about the lost gun. Oh, you made me look like a bitch, Kim. You haven't prioritized looking for it. <laughs> you son of a, you asshole. If inevitable, and doesn't put the RCM in a good light. Oh, he cares about the fucking police force. Kim, it's about looking cool in front of people. Don't you understand what superstars do? Kim's a terrible wig man. That's all it's ever Mr. been about, Kim. Kim. That's all That's it's ever been years. about. It's looking it looks cool. Like we have a friendly gun finding competition on our hands. I'm the fucking disco hobo cop. <laughs> Let's talk about the oh, hanging. Of course. That's your main thing here. That's why you're in Martinez. I know everything that goes on around here, and I would love to help like I'm helping you with your lost gun. I mean, it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike. So much to talk about. Honestly, it's been weighing on me so heavily. I understand you need to interview me. Hmm. Would I pick up on nuance? Or would I just say nothing and stare forward? You take a really long time to decipher. Say nothing. But there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night. I want to talk about the hanging. I mean, if we could just calmly talk, exchange information, we could blow this thing wide open. Yes, that sounds good. Let's do that. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. You're police officers, aren't you? I have a crazy idea. You guys are basically door-opening machines, incredibly talented at opening doors. Uh, I spin kick doors. I've opened a few doors in my life. You've heard wrong. Ever we're not. Kim, is that true? Are we door opening machines? <laughs> Kim, what do we do again? I've opened a few doors in my life. And I'm sure you're gonna open this one with flying colors, Harry. <laughs> this really is very simple and there's nothing shady about it. Does this jiggling ooze think he's going to use you? He's got another thing coming. Play his game, son, with your eyes peeled. He's going to slip up, and when he does, you're going to come out on top. Hmm. Damn it, fine, I'll look into it. We need to talk about the murder. 
I bet you don't even know anything about the hanging. Oh, if I say that, he might reveal that he knows, because he'll get desperate for me to do. I bet you don't even know shit like me. Harry, my dear friend, I am what people call a local bigwig. I know everything that goes on in Martin A. So he knows. So he knows something. He revealed that he knows information. I fooled him. <laughs> I'm a master manipulator. <laughs> Whose door is it? Oh, no one's. It's just a weasel. A weasel lives there. Nothing for you to worry about. What do you mean by weasel? A loud blabbering weasel. Does he live there? When weasels feel no one is watching, they start acting foolishly. He removes his glasses and rubs his just nose. Just go there, unlock the door, and leave it open. It's been such a burden on me, Harry. I just want this to be over so I can discuss business with you. All right. I don't think I'm getting out of this. I'm going to do his task, but only because it's the only way to get closer to solving this murder, which I'm apparently solving. Fantastic, my friend. Just let me know when it's done and we can take our friendship to the next level. You can get the key from Manana. But he never Stand said I had to do a good job. Manana's like a free agent in the union. So, special operations, hardened socialist. A real free thinker, too. He'll tell you precisely where the door is. One last thing, Harry. Just open the door. You don't need to go in or anything. I just want that weasel to come home and see the unlocked door. Uh, you can't mean Mr. Du Bois. Why? Of course. Let us dispatch with the formalities. You call me Everett. I call you Harry. So that's really my name? My God, so it's true. I didn't want to believe it, but you are a fantastic science fiction amnesiac cop, aren't you? What are the odds of that? I think the odds of that are very low. It's true. Uh, my memory is fine. There's no way your name's Harry. Is this no this way? This is a power play. He gave you a dweeb name. Yeah. My name is Armando Thunderpants. So good to hear that, Harry. Apparently, my sources were wrong. However, if you did have a spot of memory trouble, I could help you out with my big fat folder. Ah, uh, keep your big fat folder to yourself, Are you buddy. To tell me you've gotten hold of some of our documents. Lieutenant inspects Everett, Everard over his spectacles. Mr. Kitsuragi, would you mind? Me and Harry are talking about his lost identity right now. He keeps saying your name over and over. Yeah, this is She's like really this is really trying to con yeah. He can't he can't fool me. I don't have a Melvin name. There's no way. Uh where did you get that folder? What kind of cop did it say I am? It says I'm a good cop. It's the only thing it could say. Do you know anything about my family? Do I have a wife or kids? Do you know where I live? I don't want to let him know that I don't know. <laughs> I don't want him to know that. Dad's playing his game. Yeah. Where did you get that folder? Ah, this. My friends in your organization gave it to me, Harry. I find that very suspicious. May I have a look? I'm afraid this is meant for union eyes only, Mr. Kitsuragi. I'm sure you understand. Please continue, Harry. I'm not even going to talk about this stuff. I don't even care if I have a wife. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want him to know. I don't want him to see any weakness in me. Of course, Harry. Of course. Let's not Dude, the amount of Harrys he's saying. Major. Yeah, this you seems like he's like me? he's trying to convince me of something that isn't true. I'm going to leave now. We might talk again later. Wait. You need this to get in and out through the gate. Uh. Here, you're one of us now. A real red and white union man. Take care, Harry. Alright. So I got a cool card that'll let me get in and out. Open apartment door. I'm actually open the basement door behind a greenhouse in the backyard to initiate. Uh, do what you have to do. Everard has promised to give you info on the case in return. So I gotta go to this Minyana guy.
I still can't look at the body without vomiting. <laughs> I don't think. There's a lot just for the sake of. Uh... It's the only thing I've been trying to do is not vomit. <laughs> well, can I go behind his desk? It's gonna make you stronger though in the end. Dude, I have 25 bucks. Shit, let me out. Not bad. I got 25 bucks. I can buy a bunch of that shit to make me not throw up. You could probably buy one thing of alcohol. Like one pretty okay bottle of like vodka. Then this investigation can really start. Yeah, then it could be a fun investigation. I'm the party cop. <laughs> oh, what's in this box? What's in the box? Oh, it's locked. Do I have any way to open that? No. I can't tell if I'm doing a good job or not, <laughs> but I am solving a case. Uh, I feel like both you and uh, Mr. Dubois are both doing a job, <laughs> and that's all that matters. You're a superstar, not a good cop. I haven't heard this one compliment from Kim. I literally spun kick a dude. You punched a child. I fucking kept my composure. I punched a kid. Maybe. We can keep that one set. off the record. A uh, kid was high. He probably just thought about it. He made it up in his head. This is the night watchman's booth. The name on the door reads, Rene Arnaud. Kim, we're gonna take a quick look inside. If you must. But please hurry, we are pretty easy to spot up here. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean and their sparse contents meticulously organized. There's a framed photograph on the table. I'm taking it. It's a black I and white sell photo it. of a young <laughs> Any money. out in a street fair. The man is young, dark skinned, and dressed in a Royal Carabiner uniform. Tall, dark, and handsome. The girl is smiling playfully at the camera. Why did you take that? I'm a cop. <laughs> it's an instinctual, it's instinctual to things. collect evidence. Fine, but let's move. I don't want to be seen snooping around here. <laughs> Question my methods, Kim. Snow is quietly covering the numerous wine bottles and cigarette butts on the ground. Someone partied really, really hard here. Did I do this? <laughs> Did I party? Well, was I here? Yes, I think we can say with relative confidence that it was. I was over here <laughs> drinking too? Dude, yeah, how? Yeah, you were everywhere. How'd, I get How'd you get through the, the I don't guy? know. <laughs> I become like a liquid or something when I'm, when I'm fully drunk. Damn, I'm cool, right, Kim? This is really sad. Pff, I would never admit that. I must have been on an advanced scouting mission. <laughs> yes, this looks pretty advanced, all right. For now, let's just move. It's part of my methods again. He doesn't understand. Because he's a shit cop. Who needs me more than I need him? Imagine playing a Mr. Du Bois who's like, oh, what am I? What have I become? <laughs> yeah, I'm a monster. Yeah, right. A party monster. <laughs> That's all I am. Double down. Double down. <laughs> become as cool as possible. If I ever play this, this is the going to be the, um, the stealth archer. If I ever play this again. I'll try to be like, all right, I'm going to do a serious run. And I'll still become fucking party man. Party man, Party spin man kick Dubois. guy. <laughs> this is who I just who I am. Oh yeah, I can buy stuff. What if I got a raincoat <laughs> for no reason with my bribe money? Do you sell booze? 
You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent. Oh, uh, don't I have to like cash in my money? Slogan on the back. Oh, I don't want to do that. Don't listen to that one. Leave. How do I get my money out? Shit. It was a check. That doesn't help me. I can't turn that check into a raincoat. Fuck. Alright, there's like a... Is there a map? Uh, map. M. Bam! Oh, shit! You see that? <laughs> you Whoa. see that Ferris wheel? Oh, shit! I was looking at the dead body. Alright, I was over here. Is this the whole game? Notice the theme park immediately. That's all I care about. How do I get there? Hey, kid. I should get my gun and come back. Oh, does Kuhn okay? I need Kuno my gun. Doesn't fucking care. I got you. I got you. Yeah, you'd be like, does Kuno care about this? And point, and a, point gun a gun right at him. <laughs> oh, shit. There's money in here. Oh, and more drugs. Boom. How do I get in here? An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Eternite. Because it's nice and orderly, well laid pallets, easy on the eyes. Fuck. No, there's more to this. You get this strange feeling. What Hard feeling? To say. It's gone now. Feelings pass, you see. Especially the small ones. What is this? It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slot. Ah, oh, I just can't figure it out. Hmm. How do I get to that theme park? <laughs> Oh, I've never been down here. Ancient fountain doesn't pump water anymore. Some great tonic. The tonic forest has cracked the pavement like an eggshell. Oh yeah, I guess there is a giant crack in the floor. Who are you? Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Young girl with her chubby red cheeks waves at you, smiling. Her nose is also red from the cold. I am the law! I know, sir. Yes, people get that you are the law. You really don't have to keep saying it. Kim, name why? one reason why I shouldn't stop saying I'm the law. Are you interested in a new... Because what if they didn't book? know? Yeah. You're interested in a new and exciting book? No. <laughs> I hate, don't know how to read. <laughs> what kind of story is this? It's a bookstore, sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. It's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses, little girl. What is a book? <laughs> <clears throat> there we go. What is a book? <laughs> yeah, you're going a little crazy. They have stories inside them. It's like someone told you a story in a really long letter. Amazing. What is a board game? That sounds game? boring. I like little games on a table, made to pass the time. There are several different ones. 
but sailors here mostly buy cards. She is unfazed by your questions. She would consider it impolite to point out any perceived weirdness. My pleasure. Anything else you'd like to know? No. Wait, right, maybe I she'll know about the body. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. Did the body like to read? Hmm. <laughs> oh, Have they bought a book from you? And generals of old, or artists and writers, or musicians, those kinds of people. There's usually something extraordinary about them. I think that's why people read them, to find the secrets of their fame. Can I become famous by reading one of these books? I don't know about that, but I imagine life is great. Do superstars famous. read? No, nah, they get somebody else to read for them. And then tell them the book was lame. Fame sounds delicious. Maybe someone will write a book about me one day. Why would they do that, sir? I... I'm a superstar. Because I'm a tell. superstar cop. <laughs> it's one of the things. In the papers and everything. That'll show them. That's so cool. Maybe they'll make you a book cover picture and everything. Standing over a dead body. Holding a gun. That sounds so cool. <laughs> Maybe. What is romance? I ain't asking a kid that. That's a weird question. As you turn, a bright light catches your eye, making you squint. Cool. So cool. <laughs> Where is it coming from? From a distant sunset, a stage light, flash photography, nowhere in particular. It's just what Superstar law officers do. They squint at lights and they <laughs> saw shit. Is this game listening to me talk? <laughs> Actually, it gets you. It understands me completely. Actually, now I hear a superstar in law. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I've been establishing my superstardom hard early. Yeah, you have. You're a big, thick cop. Dick Mullen. Salam Rocky Bay. Did big cop? Disco cop. Didn't I say I said that earlier? What? You're big cop. Here we go. Camera. Lights. I think I literally said something about being a big dick cop earlier. Like the big dick swinging of the law or something. This is crazy. Here we go. Uh action. With a sudden flash, the world freezes around you. And you along with it. In an iconic monochrome solution, a black silhouette against a rasterized orange world. It's on. Holy shit. Some kind of superstar. The journey begins. <laughs> Internalize. <laughs> You're goddamn right. <laughs> this is the coolest game I've ever played. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> It's letting me just be a fucking asshole. And, and it's, it's cool. working. And it's working. <laughs> it knew I would latch on to Superstar forever. Where's this door I have to open? Will it understand that I don't pay attention? To anything? Maybe not that one. Let's go to the weasel's house door from Minyana. Who the fuck was Minyana? I don't think I talked to a Minyana. I should probably go back, huh? Doesn't that just mean tomorrow in Spanish? It does. We're streetwise. Mm -hmm. We know these things. They can't fool me with their magic words. Who the fuck's Minyana? Were you? I forgot your name. It is him. Would you like a harbor?
How did you like our harbor? Complete shit. It's but a rest area on the path leading across open plains. Why smile at Right. Face. You talk to the boss eye to eye, like men of the plane. If you have any more questions, I'm set to talk. Everett said you have a key to a door. A key, huh? What door is this key supposed to open? He said it belonged to a weasel. Oh, say no more. I got you. I got that key right here. And let me tell you, it's mighty good of you to help us out during the strike. Working class solidarity, as they say. Uh, I hear something about a weasel. I didn't sound like a logic. Let me throw it for myself. I'm opening it for all working men. I'm not really doing this for political reasons. I saw the opportunity and I took it. I'm a hustle grinder. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'm not so sure about the hustle grind. I'm a superstar hustle grinder. You know, it Hobo matter. cop. It's a good thing you're doing. Thanks. What you're looking for is a basement door behind the greenhouse. That's behind the whirling in rags. That's all I know. Our organization is what you call compartmentalized. Means we keep out of each other's business. Okay, but where did you get the key from? The janitor gave it to me. Nice fella. We talked about life and things that really, truly matter. None of this mess we're in. This jiving and juggling. What's it for? To feed our children, I guess. Anything else I should know about this task? This weasel person? When will he be home? I don't need to know anything more. I got it. I'm more of I'm a, a superstar cop. Doc worker, see? I like to talk yeah. about the big picture stuff. Who I am, who you are, what we are fighting for. Who he is and what they're fighting for. This is interesting. Any idea who killed the hanged man? The mercenary, eh? Who could have killed him? That's indeed the question. Why even do such a thing? The man whispers a jaunty tune. A coastal breeze ruffles his hair. Good talking. All right. To the greenhouse. I know where that is. I'm going to solve this crime. Kim. You thought I couldn't do it. You thought a, a drunk who sleeps on his face couldn't possibly handle this. But here I am, solving this mystery like a true superstar cop. How do I get in this greenhouse? <laughs> Inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eat tonight. It's nothing. Someone just left some Fuck, I can't get in there. That's the greenhouse, right? Do I gotta go all the way around? It doesn't even have a Oh, it looks like a greenhouse in this trash this trash container is locked the sliding lid has a padlock that says whirling in rags there's something in there not necessarily connected to the case but still why am i looking at you trash container you're just the trash container the body is downwind from here maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death lieutenant what do you think of this trash can trash Food waste from the cafeteria. They lock these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in. Could be evidence too. Yes. I feel there is something in there. My cop, my what superstar mean, cop instinct. Feel? It's ex extrasensory perception. Whatever is hold a special significance. I agree. We should get someone from the remote viewers division here. There's no need for sarcasm. I feel strongly about it. That's all. Maybe. You don't have to be a dick about oh. it, Kim. All because you can't feel it. Evident. He can't the feel the vibrations like I can. In there. Yeah, he's just, get it's, it's his fault that he's lacking. Yeah. Maybe you need a, another pair of glasses. We could try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor <gasps> carriage. Or... 
No ore, pry bar. Genius idea, me. From the manager of the whirling in rags. He probably has one. And he also has information. What if I didn't do that? And I just tried to open it. <laughs> that seems like a waste of time. No matter how Damn. strong you think you are. This is really not something you should be attempting to do with your bare hands. Use your teeth. Always stronger. Why am I? It's my. But I have a pry bar. Tool not equipped. Oh. All right. I'll exit this and then equip the tool and then open it and not talk to the, <laughs> to the guy. That sounds like a waste of time. Oh shit, dude, I got so much tools. All right, let's do this. This trash container is locked. Force time isn't happening. You've jammed the pry bar under the lid. What is this? Your triceps ache for the metal to bend. But it resists. This calls for a potent curse to help break its resistance. Utter the power words. The fuck kind of metal is this? This fucking shit. What a shitload of fuck. <laughs> or whatever. The quality of metal is not the problem. From what I see, it's sturdy enough. He's enjoying your little failure. He finds it amusing. He's reveling in the sweaty rage on your face. There's a creaking sound as the pry bar slips under the lid. You hang from it like a moron. Huffing, <laughs> Clearly the technique is wrong, but nothing else comes Spin to mind. Spin kick! <laughs> Hurt. Unsatisfying. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna Earth. die. You hear a ringing sound, but not quite hollow. The can seems to be full. Full of itself. Content. Happy you fell. This snickering trash container is having a grand old time. <sighs> the, cra the trash container won. I must admit failure. Let's ask the manager for the key. <sighs> this is clearly not working. What a shitload of fuck. <laughs> I, don't, I gotta be careful. I might die. <laughs> can I buy is medicine? Is it over if you... I don't know. you die? Is it based on how many mistakes you can make? All right, we'll have to be extra careful. I'm still going to take every bad choice and just do it. I mean, it's worked for the most part. It has. Oh, maybe I could scare this kid by holding my pry bar in my hand as I, as I uh, confront him. Hey, kid. Now what? You fucking punk. Fuck does Kuno care? Kuno doesn't fuck. <sighs> Dang it. Why How can't I I, Why child. does he not respect me in my pry bar? <laughs> Close for winner. Please use the main entrance. Is that not the entrance? Oh, this one is. How do I get to that greenhouse? Mm -hmm. Alex, how do I get to the greenhouse? I don't know. All right, it's cop instinct. Is this even necessary to get there? I don't know. Can I help you? Is the trash container hot back yours? Here. Should I pay him so I can spend the night? Or should I keep oh, it? Oh, right, because he doesn't like you. Hey, here's some yes. money. Have you got it? 
You must be joking, right? You come here, trash everything, and now you try to pay <laughs> with a novelty check? You're goddamn right. <laughs> this yeah. isn't a game show. I'm not going to accept it. You owe me cold, hard money. I want to see that money in the palm of my hand. Every single cent. Damn you, fat Everhart. Your novelty check is useless. You can cash it in at the local frit near the harbor gates. Though it might not be enough to cover it. Like what? Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. Thank you for clearing that up. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors too. They put their trash there and they don't pay for the garbage company. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. I wonder what this feeling is. Prod at him and find out. What if I told you I am a hobo? <laughs> or, should, or soon to be one. Rummaging through. Will that keep me out too? In the same galaxy, guarding where leftovers from the poor. Yeah. Chalice, what are you? Kras Mazov? Almost all establishments in Revishol keep their trash locked. The whirling in rags is not special in that regard. We need those keys. What I'm a cop. I'm the law. It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're done, please. I've seen something here at the Whirling. Uh, what did I see? I don't remember. So I'm gonna leave. Go check out the trash can. Come, Kim. Join me. Uh, I don't think anything's gonna be in that trash can because that guy doesn't care that I'm even looking in it. You never know. That's true. Maybe he doesn't know about the bodies in here. This trash container is locked with a well-oiled crack. The lock pops open. It should now be possible to simply raise the lid. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe I will anyway. Maybe you shouldn't. Of course you should. This is your time to shine, hobo cop. Dive into that dumpster for extra content. Goddamn right. Open the lid. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. What a goddamn well, hero would do. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Uh, how deep am I going? Dig in, Hobocop style, for extra content. Hobocop? Wow. An armistice caliber 50 knock cannon. Half wrapped in paper tissues. So shiny. It's a giant rifle. And it's very I got expensive. a bigger gun. Not as expensive as that fat string of pearls snaking around the rotten banana peels, however. And it's Dude, this trash is a gold mine. Preamp with Electra F2 tubes. It is. That catches quite a price. We're talking 12,000. Easy. Unless you're into hi fi yourself. I'll sell it. No, you won't. Because none of those things are real. They're not actually in there. Damn it. All you see oh. is food waste and crisp wrappings. You son of a bitch. You lied to me, narrator. You got so stoked. All you see is a broken mug with a racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. Is it an antique? Only in its social sensibility. Take the mug. Mm hmm You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. No, I have to wait till the conversation's over. You've acquired. Uh, look under the boxes, pick up the rags, search. You see milk and egg Gross. rest with one broken egg in it. Disgusting. Some pasta wrapper. Nasty. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. 
A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Soleil cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Nothing of note, however. I'm sorry. Turbo noodles sound pretty noteworthy. Yeah, those are That sounds super awesome. Noodles. Pick out the rags. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. Mine. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. <gasps> the victim's clothes? Cadaverino door is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. I found Evan. Dude, I'm doing great. <laughs> Digging in trash was a good idea. Guitar mark. Hobo cop Urgent. is the smart route. Pocket. Empty. Or empty. He wore them with a belt, too. A white belt. The loops appear stretched, but... The belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. Something slimy catches your eye. Reach for it. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. This is a military-type overgarment. No label or serial number. Sick, dude, you got this a cool jacket. Kind of you got a cool shirt now. Of a light armor uh, dude, a dead man Pus-filled jacket. Scenario. Anything more? The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. Just garbage. All right. We should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. Yeah, we need to ask the kids who put... Uh, I want to ask... What's his fuck... What's his face... I think someone from the world might have been involved, maybe? Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lid was locked, and his establishment had the key. It's just a small, loose thread. The fuck's he on about, kids? You hear that, Kuno? He thinks you're an infant or something. See? The lieutenant nods, uh. then looks back into the trash container. Close the lid. The container That's all I wanted to find. Gone. Dude, I am stumbling upwards so so well. That's one thing of the least. I think we got it all. Dude, I didn't even care about the case. I just wanted to dig in the trash. It just so happens to help me. All around you, rain falls on the great city of Rivershaw. It's Rain all up for Hobo Cop. Eaves and floods the gutters, washing the filth away. Oh, can I always get this view? The spring thaw must be here. The snow is melting. Looking up at the sky, cold water dripping from your hair. Grey sky like great battleships, clouds colliding with one another. Rain falls down on the world. How does it feel? Humid. Your coat shields you from the rain while the city shivers around you. Ah, you're a genius for getting it. Motherfucker. <laughs> What's in the west? Sheets of rain over the water. A flight of stairs leading into the ocean. Wave after wave washing the coast of Martinez. With its motorboats and gently swaying reeds. The ruins of a half-sunken sea fort crumble on an inlet beyond the Bay of Revachol, ghosts rise into the sky. Ghost? Who are you, ghost? The skyscrapers of La Delta, the financial district. Faint golden light seeps from the office windows. Will you ever go there? No, you are just one of the hundreds of thousands who watch them rise across the bay from Martinez every day. Run your fingers through your dampened hair. This rain will not let up anytime soon. At least we are dressed for it. Let's keep moving. I'm not. I don't have my raincoat. I thought you know. There was dialogue that said you had it. Oh, I can zoom out, but not very far.
All right, what's next? Oh, I go inside. Am I a good detective or am I the best detective? Uh, super duper great. Super? Would you say I'm a super cop? A superstar cop. Goddamn right. Can I help you? Here's your shitty key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. I found victim's How clothes. Strange. I certainly didn't put them Hmm? There. Didn't you? Of course. He was the dude. He's totally the murderer the whole time. You called it. Could someone in your staff have put them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. On Clinton Street, near the Boogie Street Diamond, a small truck rattles down an alleyway. It stops by a rusted trash container. Two men, their faces rough and swollen, jump out. They look at the container, despondently. CSM is written on their backs. Thank you, anyway. Uh, let's talk about yes. something else. Goodbye. All right, what's next? I still have to get to that greenhouse. I also need to pay for my room tonight. The clock is ticking. Have we accomplished anything? I don't besides, know. you know, the start of being a superstar? Uh, not really. <laughs> but we've done Sick. a lot. I don't think we're any, any closer to solving this murder. That's relieving. But I got this racist cup. In Heck it's yeah. just a racist mug. What's there to read here? Not much. You could have given oh, that metalhead. What are you going to Appreciate say about it. a broken, tossed away mug that you dug out of the garbage? Then he can join your party. No, uh, this mug is it. But it was in the trash. Why not just call it out when you see it? Or do some volunteering work? Just finish your case, detective. The, the mug judged me. <laughs> it called me out. Stupid mug. Back to the trash with you. Hmm. Okay, I did this. The only thing I haven't really done is explore around. I think I can get to the greenhouse by going the long way around. Is this guy important? You! Did you know I'm the law? I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. Uh, I am the law. I am. Which means you gotta listen to me. I got a street bag. All right, I'm gonna go try to get to this uh, this greenhouse. Maybe I'll find something interesting. I'm one step closer to proving that the hotel owner is the murderer. Call it a hunch. I got a gut feeling in my superstar detective gut. There's a girl up there. Did she spill the paint? Hey. 
What do you want? The streets will flow red once more. A great torrent rushing down rude. Maybe she's the lives. murderer. You wait. Yeah, that's stage. something a normal person says, you freak. The girl stares at the sailboat by the pier. The streets will not flow red with anything. Who are you? I'm Cindy the fucking skull. What else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type, the last time I was tested for hep C. Give her the look. Uh, we just want to know your name, little lady. No need to get this defensive. Don't use that tone with me. I am the law. <laughs> That's the only answer. Sod off, pig it's worked 100% of the time. The Arrest her. <laughs> Immediately prove she's not above the law. <laughs> Keep looking off to the side. What are you looking at? What are you doing up, uh, doing to the wall? Do you know anything about the recent murder? Hmm? I ain't no snitch, pig She does know. Go forth and forage in someone else's shit. No shortage of squealers in these parts. Actually, there is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. We weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant. Fucko. What are you looking at? She nods disdainfully toward the woman performing maintenance on the boat. Why do you hate that lady? Next to the pier. I like how uh, how well the uh, the 3D objects blend in with the the painted background. Looks great. Hatred, disgust. It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. The woman on the boat does the not notice. On the boat oh. does not notice her staring. That a on her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Probably the wild pines rep. We should talk to her. She's a professional negotiator, though. I have the feeling she will be very cooperative while telling us nothing. You should take the lead. Ask her. <laughs> Wait, wow. Whoa. You can't have I proven myself worthy? <laughs> Any instance. <laughs> Where are you getting? Don't be afraid to get a bit wacky. Oh, I see. Throwing her off is her best bet. Oh, Good he's idea, gonna use Piggy. your stupidity. Yes. Come along now. Fuck her shit up. Good. Impound that boat while you're at it. I'd like to watch her swim back to us on. What are you doing this walk? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural. An aerial graffiti visible from low orbit. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. I have an opinion on this. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Um. Actually, I don't have an opinion. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Got her. <laughs> you can never. You never can tell what I'm gonna do. Wacky crazy <laughs> <Dubois>. <laughs> Superstar cop. <laughs> Wild card. Lion is cool, I guess. You got her. She's just <laughs> so mopey about it. You've I was just practicing eyes. my my wackiness. <laughs> you didn't do anything. Nope. I never do anything. That's my secret. A striking woman leans against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Good afternoon, officers. I'm Joyce. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. She steps closer and holds out her hand over the railing. Uh, should I just act like I don't even know what I am? <laughs> RCM, what is that? Uh, I didn't listen to... There's a racist that was telling you about this. Um, I meant you. The Revachol Citizens Militia. Wow, the card. Police. Joyce L, what does the L stand for? Loser? Satan, my maiden name. <laughs> I added that last part. 
lame-o. Should I shake her hand? Or should I wild card not shake her hand? Should I give her the old... Uh, wild card would go for the fist <laughs> Too <bump>. slow. <laughs> I'll shake her Ooh. hand. Wild card would go for there's a pizza... There's a stain on your shirt. <laughs> and then boop. <laughs> get, her, get her in the nose. Yeah. Wild card. Crazy cop. Superstar. I'm glad you're here. Grip is tight and cold. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will, gladly. That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. <laughs> Why would you I ever... I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very Stupidity. But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. How he keeps mumbling, superstar. <laughs> I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation and the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. It's hard to get a read on her precise disposition, but she appears helpful. <laughs> You're on a boat. <laughs> that's, a that's Why is that one of the options? I see you're on a boat. What do you think? Am I perceptive? It's like one of those stupid world building questions, but... What can you tell me about it, like, this? It's aware. It's a dumb world building one. You're on a boat. Why, yes, I am. <laughs> it's part of my wild card. I'm trying to loosen her up. See if she's a liar. She looks you like have a jacket on. Yes, I do. do you Excellent detective skills. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a handle on the boat thing. Not a lot of people on boats, are there? Of course there are. Shit. <laughs> she got me. You got me. Uh, I don't know where I. I don't know where I am. <laughs> I didn't expect you to say we're on our on an archipelago. <laughs> you know, uh, what's the, what's your partner's name? I forgot. <laughs> Kim. Kim. Kim did say he's stupid, pretty much. <laughs> Wait, we're on an archipelago. <laughs> Looks around. Yes, we are. We are on Le Caillou. Bless you. Understood about this boat. Still, I haven't seen anyone else on a boat. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped up Coupri Kenema motor carriage either. Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle. It's for crossing long distances in the Greater Revachol Industrial Harbor. It's not a toy. Neither is this. A toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Revachol, between the city and the islands. She's having a good time arguing against the law. Too good. Ah, oh, she loves it. Does your boat... Is there an argument? You just asked, is this a boat? <laughs> and she said yes, and I said, why do you have a boat? And she said, it's an archipelago, and I said, where am I? Archipelago who? And then here we are. <laughs> Yeah, she's really enjoying the argument. <laughs> Does your boat have a name? The boat? No. It is that's a good called Cordelati oh. 19, because that's the type of sloop it is. The word it feels strange. Such a beautiful boat deserves a proper name. A breeze ripples through the sails and tugs at your hair. Below, the sleek, fish-like shape of the hull parts the water. Beneath that, a resounding darkness. You're reminded of something. Or someone. Cool, but your boat really needs a name. Okay. How about Cordelechi 19? Why? Me? Because it was manufactured in Revishal East by a company called Cordelechi, and its hull is 19 paces long. How about the X something? Did there wasn't there something with have Alex give the boat a name? The X something. The X what? The, the X executor. Oh, I do like the sound of that. It sounds so. Decisive. You have to air guitar when you're done so, uh, saying it. Powerful. You're goddamn right. 
That's my nickname. Harry the Executor Du Bois. Du Bois? My slew? I like it a lot. It's the eel's hips, baby. It's the eel deal. I'm in this part of the interview. <laughs> it has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. Not you. I really do, the lieutenant thinks. Is she thrown off yet? He's looking at the woman, assessing her. I don't want to talk about her boat anymore. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't Good. What can you tell me about this strike? Everything. Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. <gasps> trade secrets? Wait, what if I want to hear about trade secrets? First, you'd have to repeal the Emergencies Act of Trade and Elements. That gives me the right to silence. It's quite the octopus. An octopus, I will slay it. Good luck is only kept in place by the vested interests of half the civilized world, including your own. What the man means is that the Emergencies Act and the RCM both all of you, both of you to assume government. he's civilized. Yeah. But I am derailing us. You want I'll vomit on your boat strike. if you don't fucking tell me all your secrets. I'll throw the corpse on your boat just so I'll have an excuse to vomit. Wild card. I believe the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. Superstar In moves. Practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines counteroffer. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago after that awful lynching took place. Now they won't even let me into the harbor. There's a two meter twenty racist behemoth blocking the gates. I kicked his ass. Oh, you mean, you mean the big baby bitch? Yes, Jean Luc Measurehead. Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. I did. Well, you, you got just... the racist cup, right? We can make amends with him. He would love that cup. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. But the strike began in December. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he'd granted the union in prior negotiations. I want to spin kick this lady. This isn't the first time the union has gone on strike. They really need to let you just spin kick Heavens everybody no. you dislike. There have been two prior strikes. Both times the union won significant concessions including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. Um. There are leaflets everywhere and banners. What did they say again? Oh yes, every worker, a member of oh, the yeah. board. I don't know what to think about that. Over Kami posturing. Seems that they have no idea about business. I like it. Then you might also like their other slogan. Demand democracy. Uh, sure. Personally, That's pretty cool too. Can we just... Pizzazzo as every worker, a member of the board. It's quite simple, you see. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about what about anything really, it needs the signature of each of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez Oh my terminal. god, I want to spin kick. Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings Stop of the boring nerd shit. I won't punch you. <laughs> Harry party! <laughs> uh, I got it. Their fight. It's never gonna, they're never gonna win or whatever. It's pretty funny, sure. They're having a blast. But how can they afford it? After four months... Giggles all, all across the board. Can we just... More practical solution. Did you murder the man? I'm not sure. 
Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. A hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow-up, just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. And now, people are getting lynched, I hear. Behind the whirling in rags. A disastrous situation if there ever was one. Excuse me, from whom did you hear about this lynching? I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. The one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. I think he said it was, call me manana. Oh shit, I know that guy. This checks out. What do you think of Everard? Everard is a man of the utmost integrity. Ugh. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. You made me sit in a bad chair. Of course not. Everard is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo where you and I have blood. It's him. He is the I most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, this checks more irredeemably out. nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. Wait, there's two of them? Yes. Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does. And when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. Wait, did I talk to Everard? Like his brother. The one we talked to had a lazy eye. Oh, okay, so Edgar doesn't. So we must check their eyes in the future. To know who is who. It's how they circumvent the term limits, you see. With a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows Wait. how much of their workers' dues. Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that. No, Edgar is the... Wait, how does this read? Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. So Edgar has the lazy eye, right? So then we talk to Edgar? We talk to Edgar. He bamboozled us. He pulled the wool over my eyes. He got past my super cop. How did I not know? My super cop instincts. They cannot be wrong. I'm going to go back to him and call him Edgar. Well, what if he's that, what if he's that other guy's name? No, I think it's Edgar. I'm reading that as... Edgar has the lazy eye. Well, no, but what if the shift's changed? Oh, shit. What if his eyes are suddenly not... lazy? <laughs> I don't know how to... Yeah. Uh, what about the unit itself? The Day Bardeur's Union was once a perfectly normal institution. 20 years ago, anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act. But they did it. I can respect that. Organized labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the hmm. local chapter elections. The brothers Claire came and transformed it into a... How do you say? A mob. The Debardeurs are a crime syndicate. Sad as it may be, we are forced to cooperate with them. Refreshingly honest, officer. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but... I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Everard and his brother. And your opinion, detective? If I may ask. I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. Would you say the Debardeurs Union is... I don't know, I'm just thinking of fucking his, his eyes. <laughs> yeah, he fucked me up. <laughs> Why do you think so? I don't know, man. I just think about the guy's eyes. I'm just saying shit, dude. Dude, I don't, I'm just saying shit. And I'm hoping it works. Genius sounds like a motley crew. The good labor man can't fault them for a little corruption. I don't like Measurehead. Sure, that one. Well, I suppose that's one way to look at it. They're an interesting composition, albeit vile. But enough about Everard. What else can I do for you? That's all I need. I want to go. Course. I want to go confront that guy. How else can I help? Uh, 
Actually, I what would it. you gain by just saying you weren't the guy I was talking to? You seem rich. Can I have some it's money? What you want to say, but it isn't that easy. Wait, why not? Look at that lady. Take a gander. Squint your eyes, bub. <laughs> what nice fabrics. Why, yes. Tucked away under that sturdy green raincoat. Almost rustic in its simplicity. A silk shirt and matching scarf around her gentle throat. While dull orange pearls hang from her earlobes. Red from the cold. Her light green eyes scan you. Full of knowledge and worry. Wealth and all its possibilities. Yes, yeah, so? Now look at you. You misery-clad simian. Barely able to tie your own laces. <laughs> your armpits are lakes. Hold on. A scythe of boons precedes you. What is this? What is with the, uh... forehead and your underwear feels uncomfortable. Yeah, but what about my unbridled confidence? <laughs> Which poor, is all that matters. Poor as balls. You can't ask this person for money. You're too... What is this feeling? I've never felt it before. I'm a goddamn working man. Cause I should be reconsidering. Yes, I should make my own goddamn money now. No. I've never felt feelings. Shame. You haven't really been in the presence of gentlefolk either, have you? What shame is there to be felt in front of these dock workers, cops, and hotel clerks? But to belittle yourself in these eyes of Odinim. Oh God, the lieutenant is here too. Do not dishonor the force. No, I As can. I saying, if there's any way I may be of assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. Oh, I guess I should talk. I should ask about the body, things, right? I'm afraid. The information I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Oh fuck! I don't have my badge. Of uh -oh. course. <laughs> we should have. Uh oh. You guy, yeah, we gotta book it. The jig is up. <laughs> from Precinct Fifty Seven. And this is I'm not even a cop. Precinct 41, Detective Dubois. <laughs> um, <laughs> Want to see me do a cartwheel? <laughs> How do I get out of this? <laughs> my badge, of course. My badge that Look I have on there. me. <laughs> he looks at you expectantly. Then it dawns on him. Kim, I'm going to be real with you. I never had my badge. <laughs> oh. And what happened to it, Detective? Awkwardness washes over the conversation. The woman doesn't like this turn of events. Remember when my partner told you I'd recently suffered from an unusual medical episode? My lost badge is related to it. I see. So are you saying you lost your badge <laughs> during the course of this episode? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that means... Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what happened. What about it? What about it? <laughs> you know, you drink a lot. It's everybody. You lose your badge, you lose your gun, you lose your, your jacket. <laughs> you lose your entire identity. Yeah, it happens. You lose all your memories of <laughs> things prior. I yeah. can't hear you, darling. Speak up, please. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's possible after a night of heavy drinking, I lost all my memory of my life and the world. <laughs> oh, dear. Some kind of encephalopathic amnesia. I don't even know God bless how to you, respond. Joyce. I do believe you, naive as that may sound. I simply can't imagine what you gain by faking such a condition. Wild card. <laughs> as I said, ma'am, his technique may be. You'll never understand the wild card, Joyce. He is <laughs> the of, the of course, I sympathize, but I'm afraid I simply can't share anything more until I've seen that badge. Shit! Hang on. She's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial arrangement. Oh, dude. I have a high chance to do something. I usually... <laughs> this is the highest I've ever had. I'm going to fail because it's just my luck. Medium 11. How do I negotiate my way out of this? She's a negotiator. Mm. Just float a favor at her. Insinuate. Surely there, uh, there's some other way to demonstrate my law enforcement credentials. Please don't say my gun. I will be frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors 
They're going to want to see something very tangible. Point of gun at her. Here you go. Expect her to drive a hard bar. Proof. Like what? Reports from inside Terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret in Martinez. The union controls the terminal, so it goes to reason. They're profiting from this trade. The company has tried looking into this matter before, to no avail. Perhaps someone with your authority and resources might turn over the right stones. Or you can recover your badge. Though if I may be blunt with you, it sounds like that may be a lost oh, I got another side quest. Detective, a word in private before we continue. No, oh, he's gonna reprimand me. Detective, you are an idiot. <laughs> he literally told me you had a badge. <laughs> Why did you lie? Literally, you lied to me. <laughs> what is it, Kim? Oh, you should really have Some your badge in situations like this. Boom. Whatever. <laughs> I just... <laughs> they say the world isn't ready for a rock and roll cop. No one wants their state monopoly on violence to be mixed with celebrity worship. They claim to know. It would be dangerous for detectives to rise to the ranks of demigods and have sexual encounters with barely legal cover girls. It would be insane, they say. To all this, you say, fuck off and die, in a cool voice. <laughs> you people have no idea how good these cops are gonna get. This is me. They're gonna crack 20 cases a day. In the future, cops will be like astrophysicists or prime ministers or prophets. And you're the first one. I'm the first superstar, cool guy cop. I accept the responsibilities of being a cool guy cop. Alright, I learn uh, visual calculus raised to six. Composure raised to six. Hell yeah. That'll help me in the future. I don't know. I won't know what I'm talking about, but I'll be super confident about it. Oh man, let's go talk. What do you want to do, Kim? What do you want to tell me? We're out of your shot now. Yell at me. This is not going quite as I hoped it would, Detective. <laughs> Wait, what did you think was gonna happen, Kim? <laughs> Where are you getting these ideas that I'm confident? <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance and, you know, not volunteer us to be her henchman. Really? I thought it was going well. <laughs> this woman is running <laughs> circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along, or she's simply an adept improviser. Either way, we've played straight into her hands. He doesn't let it show, but there is a limit to how much the consequences of your unprofessional behavior can cost the investigation. Oh, I'm not going to apologize. Um, what no, do you propose? I would have to admit that you're doing anything wrong. Would you propose that we don't investigate the drug trafficking? No. If there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, Make up your mind. We claim we are siding with the union or that we are on their take. We'd never hear the end of it. What I propose is we ask her. Then we investigate, briefly, but do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. We tell her it's done and demand for her information on the lynching. We could just find my badge. Oh, that would be fantastic, but do we have the time? The world is large and your badge is 8 by 6 centimeters. You could request a new one from your station, but that would literally take months. All right. We'll agree to this investigation. And then I'll probably conclude the stream. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? <laughs> can I have some money? <laughs> I'm just going to ask. Well, Hell yeah! You're doing it. <laughs> really put your back into it. Yell it from the top of your lungs. You seem rich. Can, can I have I money? <laughs> Say yo, money. Money? Can Press, I have, question mark. You seem rich. Can I have money? Money, please. Why? Yes, I am rich. How much money do you need? Hopefully not too much. I couldn't bring all of it with me. 
Oh, I can pay for my she's room. surprisingly nonchalant about this. Could it be that she somehow knows more about your predicament than she's letting on? Not at all. hundred. That's a good sum. Not too small. Not fantastically large. Bam! I paid for my, <laughs> I paid for my rent. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Doesn't Wild card. <laughs> Superstar. The paper is cold. Can't afford a room. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Did you see how easy that was? Ask her for more. Toot toot. Train to Money Town. Nay, it was be a dishonor. I just needed my room for Can my hotel room. Honor? Are you an honorable? Give me a break. So, I hope I didn't just bribe you, officer. It may not be technically illegal under the Emergency Act, but still. I'm an honorable policeman. I'm a superstar cop. I'm still getting my head around this whole money concept. No. I am an honorable policeman. You're right, man. That donations are permitted under the Emergency Act. And seemly as it may be. As long as they are properly lodged with a precinct. Which he most certainly will do. Nope. Now, how I'll else forget. can I help the RCM today? Besides supplementing its salaries. That's it. Of course. Today. Hell yeah. Dude, I got money from my room. Heck yeah. I completed the only mission that I care yes. about. The one where I get to keep my room. <laughs> We've solved the rent problem. <laughs> Superstar cop stumbles his way. Tell you what this presenter with your badge right here. Or perhaps if you do her a favor, we can... Wait, did I get... Oh, I forget what she wanted from me. I was too busy thinking about being a superstar cop. <laughs> and how cool I should look. Hold on. Joyce. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Tell me more about this alleged drug it's trafficking. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revachol with the Union's blessing. Wild Pines has suspected it for years. Ingredients for what, ma'am? Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quicker to say what you can't make from the stuff. Uh, let me get some materials coming. Pull through the terminal. Yes. After they clear the terminal, we lose track. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter, north of here. Wild Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, man. Do you mean to say the Union also produces the product? Sells drugs, I mean? We're in logistics. It's our business to know. And no. As far as the company knows, the Union does not produce it. They transport the ingredients for a cut. And you want us to investigate? Yes, but you won't get anything out of Everard and the Dock Workers Union. Still, every chain has its weak link. Am I going to need bolt cutters for this? I have those. She'll think I'm being metaphorical, but I'm being literal. Unlikely officer. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about the lorries. Once the ingredients reach Jamrock, they're distributed to a network of local manufacturers well beyond our grasp, but in transit they may be vulnerable. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One of them might be waiting for a crucial shipment. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I'll yeah! share company secrets with you. Thank you. You'll be indebted to her in a way, but one step ahead of the Union in another. It's no coincidence that the lorries are stranded. What the fuck is a lorry exactly? I'm not... I'm not from fucking Narnia. It's some race thing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not from Narnia. I don't know what the fuck some other words are. What proof do you have that the Union is involved? We're Schmake. What, is he from the school Elysium world? Yeah. 
What proof do you have that the union is involved? Uh, okay, I made my mind about the smuggling investigation. I will do yes. it. I will accept. Excellent. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully one of them will know something. It may come to nothing, or it may just blow the case wide open. I suspect the traffic jam won't disperse for a few more days. You should have the time you need. In the meantime, let me know if there's any other way I may be of assistance. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna pay off my fucking... my tab. And then I guess I'm gonna solve something? I don't know. All I know is I'm gonna pay wow. off... I'm gonna pay off my tab. Then I'm gonna investigate everybody, get information out of her, find out about the fucking murder for what she knows, which might be nothing useful, but whatever, she'll lead me closer to my uh, my goal. To a new thing, probably. Yeah. I also still have to go into this greenhouse. I have a bunch of stuff I gotta do, but that'll be for another time. Because it's 11.50 and I gotta go to bed soon. Classic ending of stream time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we should save this one for just Mondays. I don't want to burn out on this by doing it also Friday. But I'll also probably forget. <laughs> um, Can I help you? What, what I did. That the money I owe you. Yes, Check this shit out. You got it. I have your money. Boom. Slam. Wait. <laughs> Let's. Cost 100. Slam the bills down on the table on the counter. I hope you choke on it. <laughs> Superstar cop. Great. Perfect. I hope you enjoy your freezing cold room with the window you broke yourself. You've really worn down his patience. Even paying him didn't help. I don't care about By him. By the way. If you hadn't paid before 9 p.m., your door would have been locked electronically. Well, who cares? Because I paid. Starting tomorrow, please pay for each night in advance. 20 real per night. Oh. If you don't have the money, it's over for you. Got it? You've got nowhere else to stay. Time stops advancing after 2 in the morning. That's how do you know. There could if be a lot of places. Your room by then, it's game over. Don't leave finding money to the last minute, however. It's harder to make cash after nightfall when the shops are closed. Oh shit! Empty. You can fail by just not having money. Whoa! Thank God I got this big ass novelty check, boy. Thank God we're superstars. <laughs> I'll take a room here too. He's gonna just oh here's. Always happy to have officers from the RCM as guests. He's just gonna have Anything the money and not I help me. For you? Oh, he's just wealthy the whole time and. He didn't bother to help you. He let you fucking meander about. Yeah. Looking for cash. What thing? It's all signed. It's the message reserved for the union. Yes, not the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders. And always pay on time. Just like me. He hates the union, but grudgingly recognizes its power over him. So he's directing his frustration at you instead. Retaliate. Let it go, you're above. Uh, she when you gotta suck up to the union and stay afloat. I don't really care either way. I should find out who this Lord Faction is occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative, and we need info. We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. There's something else I want to ask about? What? By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. I saw another thing. Another thing? Great. I love that. Never mind. I didn't see shit. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All right. 
So I didn't think I did much. But I did... I still have a bunch of stuff I can... A bunch of uh, lines I could follow. Uh, I'm probably going to forget everything <laughs> by next Monday. So I don't know. Maybe I'll play this Friday. We'll we see. We can't even look at the body yet. We haven't even... I can't look at the body without vomiting. One of these days I'll be able to look at it without throwing up. But not today. Oh, man. I got to find money to pay rent constantly. Uh, I'll probably spend a little bit more time between streams, like, actually reading all these and getting more comfortable. Uh, it's kind of hard to learn games live, but I'm almost dead, but I got a room. Look at this smile. Oh, wait, you can't see me because I'm, I'm in front of me. Never mind. Anyway. Oh, I can look at my head. <laughs> anyway, have a good one. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, tomorrow, Metal Gear. Yes? Uh, yeah. All right, yeah. Tomorrow, open Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Uh, Thursday is Eastern. Mystery Game. Uh, oh, you found something you want to play? All right. And uh, Friday, I guess, is probably more this because I'm really into this. Anyway, have a good one. Again, thank you for watching. Oh, wait. I got to save. <laughs> Let me just do that before I completely forget. New save. Save. Confirm. I did it. I made a save. Anyway. Friday FF. <laughs> no. Anyway. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye bye. <laughs>